Welcome, everybody, to Greeting Mashiach. Today, we have a very special guest, Rabbi Tzvi Homnik. Um, he's going to tell us about himself. And um, I guess, yeah, Rabbi, Rabbi uh, Homnik, if you can tell us a little bit about yourself, tell us a little bit about your background, and um, yeah, we'll start from there. Uh, okay. Uh, I grew up in a uh, from uh, American family by... Uh, both my parents were born in America. My um, one of my four grandparents was born in America. Uh, we grew up. My father was a Talmud of uh, many well-known yeshivas, primarily Chaim Berlin, and so we grew up. Uh, what would be uh, it, it? The designation of yeshivish hadn't yet fully. Uh, taken form at the time, but we were kind of American slash uh, yeshivish, so we all went to uh, uh, standard yeshivas, um, what for us is standard, <laughs> and so did I. So I went to yeshivas like Tervedas, Chaim Berlin, Mir, ended up in Lakewood. Um, so just, uh, so I grew up in uh, the first years we lived in East Flatbush before the neighborhood turned and we moved to Flatbush. Um, so there was some exposure to Lubavitch. Uh, we, when my father was off from work, he would go to for Minyan. The, the local Minyan were only like, you know, 7, 7.30. Uh, maybe the latest one would be 8. So when he was off from work, he would go to... 770 for uh, the half a million. So there are many times, especially like Chalamid, things like that. Um, I, my father told me that for my Hachnasa Lecheder, he took me to Rab Michael Teitelbaum. So I actually, of all the kids, I actually had a, wow. <laughs> a, a Chabad connection from, uh, <laughs> from the earliest uh, lick of honey. Um, so Maybe that was uh, started all the problems, but uh, <laughs> later I was in military day camps as a kid because a lot of a lot of not Lubavitch uh, kids were there. In fact, what, the years that I was there, all the councils were not Lubavitch also, because all the Lubavitch about wanted to go on shluchas, and one of the lamids that ever said a sicha, they yet the Tanhala complained, parents complained, they never said a sicha that. Being a counselor is also shluchas. So the last year I went to that day camp was the year when all the Lubavitchers took over and everything became like hyper Lubavitch. And uh, that was like a little too much. That was like the last year. But we went, you know, so we went every year. Uh, I would usually go like maybe half a summer to day camp and half a summer to sleepaway camp. So um, we went to the for Mincha. We went to the, the, the day camp. We went to... Uh, um, got dimes. We, what I mean, we, you know. So I saw that Abba, as a kid. I saw seven seventy um, as a kid. Uh, I had uh, many unpleasant interactions uh, <laughs> with the Babbages as a kid. Um, but yeah. I, I, you know, I, it wasn't like it wasn't completely foreign territory, but it wasn't something that I uh, felt connected to. And then. Uh, so how I got to Chassidus is kind of bizarre because my story and my journey is not like anybody else's, mostly because I'm, maybe because I'm just weird. But um, <laughs> We think you're I, great. It was, yes, we do. <laughs> my <laughs> personal spiritual issues, uh, I wasn't like, you know, didn't have questions and I was looking for answers. Um, I wasn't looking like to belong, to join something and belong in anything. I didn't get like see a mitzvah tank, get all excited. And, and uh, um, that wasn't what spoke to me. That wasn't what I related to. Um, my own personal journey had to do more with, again, something which most people, I realized pretty early on that most people were not struggling with that issue. Um it's going to sound weird to say, because like I said, most people won't relate to it. Um, as a kid, even from the youngest ages, I was struggling with the fact that 
the spiritual side of me and the um, material side of me were very far apart. So I could have very high spiritual highs and then felt like coming down from them, I was like um, very painful for me. So when I started learning Siddhas and I was learning my mom about the Ratsu Vashayv and I was learning my mom about the B'nai Aaron. How did you um, first get exposed to learning my mom? Those, those my mom spoke to me. I mean, because that was... I, other people, they, you know, you, you try to explain to them what it means, and it's just like words, ratsu, shav, what's the ratsu, what's the shav, what's the... They're like looking for the descriptions. For me, it was the other way around. I, I, to, to me, my whole, whatever struggles I had it, with Yiddish guy, that had nothing to do with the, um, believing in the Yiddish had nothing to do with uh, being aware of the Yiddish in my life, it had nothing to do with, that wasn't it. Um, in fact, when I was a very young Bach, starting from a very young age, somehow guys who had, in yeshivas, guys who had questions about Amuna naturally gravitated to me to like, to, because like, I don't know. How, how did you like, figure it out? No, I didn't have it figured out. When the guy would come to me with a question, Amuna, I would say to him, listen, I don't know what you're going through because I don't know what that means to have a question, Amuna. It's just never something I had when I'm a very little kid. I don't know what it is. But, you're having it, so I'm, I'm going to try to, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to work with you. It wasn't like I had all the answers. It was the other way. It was like I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I just never really got the question, but I got the fact that some people have it. It wasn't right. a thing for me. I, I think I remember once uh, some older younger man in one of the issues I was in, some other younger man, like, was trying to make care of me, and he thought, like, maybe he saw I was struggling, but so he thought maybe he's going to, like, to talk to me, ask if I have had any questions in Amun. I said, What Amun? What, uh, like, I said, what? No, not at all. I, just, uh, I said, If you know anybody with questions in Amun, you can send them to me. I have no questions in Amun. I have to I have to figure out if I can get along with God. I have to figure out how much, you know, if I can, uh, you know, uh, live. Uh, <laughs> how, the way I said it was, I have to figure out how, you know, if I like him or not. Not if, uh, not if he's around. That's not my issue. He, he, you. you know, he but, exists. You believe in him, but. Uh... Totally freaked him out because he was like a standard very far from the Litvish. Uh, he became a big. He became a very <laughs> Never famous, heard these ideas. He became a fa- very famous. He became a very famous magicier, and then he's a mashpia and the, the Litvish belt. He's not like a small guy, and he was just like he, he like he, he didn't like he had no words. It was just like he never heard anything like that. So I, oh, I, I said it wasn't you know where you want to say I have no idea what the words for it are because like I said I it just. Or a weirdo. That's another word for it. I just don't know. But so to me, I, what I was looking when I finally, I knew a lot about different chassidus, including Chabad, from from the side a lot. But what an outsider knows a lot, not a lot. But, um, and at some point, I realized that I knew about this idea of his yashvas, which again, like I said, most people, you know, it's just another word in the books that they learn. And, uh, but I got it. I knew, I knew the concept, uh, and I just didn't know what that looks like in real life, what that means to actually be, um, connected, but in a way that you're not flying off the handle and you're not, you're not, you know, you're not flying up and you're not crashing down and you're not. So I, I, I davened a lot, and the Ashkacha Pratis, I had been in Eretz Yisrael as a younger man, then we came back when my son was born, and a year later, I went back for the winter of Tavshin and Aleph, we ended up having, we had, we thought we were going to be there for the whole winter, then my sister-in-law came a call, and we made the tickets earlier, and then the tickets were like a week after the the, the deadline for the Gulf War, so they said, "When if you want to leave, you have to leave now." So I ended up leaving, like you know, I, I was one of those guys in the airports leaving before the Gulf War, but not because that was like uh, I went after I went after Saddam Hussein went into you know it wasn't like right. I, I didn't go. Everyone was going the other way. I was going towards there, so I went. It was, that wasn't my problem. But um, and Bashkar brought this at that time. One of the things that I did was I would look to find an empty base madras. And that's where I hung out. 
Bashkach Pratis, the place where I rented an apartment, the nearest empty base manage was a Chabad base manage. So it's a Tovi Blois uh, shul in um, Sanhedria, um, Pagi, as it was called. And um, so I was sitting so, in an empty Chabad shul. Rabbi Hamnik, bef- before you continue, can I ask you what year, what years about is, is this taking place? What year is this? So I'm saying, I, oh, as this is Don Aleph. Don Aleph is when I, is when I really uh, started to... I think what I meant, test what happened was in, in, in the when we came back from Eretz Israel, I was really um, going through some spiritual uh, coming off some spiritual highs, and I was really freaked out about the whole uh, experience. And I decided that as a segula, <laughs> I did it purely as a segula. It was right, it was right before Pesach, after Mem test. Um, I decided as a segula, I'm going to read. Uh, I'm not going to try to learn it, you know, I'm just going to read the whole Tanya from beginning to end. And I, that's what I did. <laughs> and I guess also that had some kind of a, an effect because by by Elul Tavshin Nun, which is when I went back to Eretz Yisrael, and Elul Tavshin Nun, um, so I found myself in this empty Chabad based marriage with all the Swarm there, and I decided to to do a um, a deeper dive, um, including a lot of those, just just you know, Sefer Atayldos and Sifras of the Frida Gerev, and um, it, they had like a, a, an extensive collection. I did a lot of the Aromic Farm. I also had knew about some of the inside stuff, and I wanted to see. I, 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 from experience, I knew I don't want to just see the sugar-coated stuff. I want to see what they say for real. So I, I picked myself up a copy of Ramach Isis, which was at that time considered like the, the, the real, you know, stuff that was not for public consumption. Um, and I went through that. I like I wanted to know what you know what 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 it's what it's all about. What happened was a few weeks after Sukkot, there was a. The Fitcher often had an afternoon table for chassidus that had been going on in the shul and shikon chabad, and for some reason it wasn't working out. They would, they have, they would have minyanim there all the time in the winter. Um, the minyanim are earlier for mincha. The mincha times are earlier, so he moved it to this shul. So I had, so I was sitting on one side doing my own thing, and he, they were sitting and learning. He was uh, learning samach with them and giving. They were learning together, have risks and giving sure, but so we kind of interacted. I sat in on his shura. Um I attended a fabrangan of his uh, in one of the younger lights homes on Hanukkah. Um I had a stick of connection with the uh, Gershom Mendel Aftson um from Eretz Yisrael, uh, who was so he I knew him already from before. He was trying to work on me uh, so I used to schmooze with him. That was a whole other parasha. Um so I, I skipped the thing when I was in Eretz Yisrael in Memchas. The whole um, elections thing started, and um, I was very upset and very offended by the attacks against the Deva. Even though I consider I consider myself a misnagid, I did not even I didn't even consider myself power of. I considered myself a, a misnagid to the world, but it disturbed me very much. So I would go sit in in the Shikha Chabad Shul, and I got to know uh, Gershom Mendel Absin there. Yeah, uh, I asked him like what are some of the easier things that people he told me he gave me well beginner things. So I had I, I owned already. If from before that I had for myself bought a chitas, uh, but I owned the uh, uh, so I had already kuntrasa tefila kuntrasa avodah kuntrasa tzachayim. I had the derech mitzvah. I was terer uh, because the terer had from before because um, I. Had, that was also an interesting Ashkach practice that uh, when I first when we first got married so before we moved there to show we took one of these temporary apartments like one of these basements for house and college and there was a stebo across the street and I would go there to uh, generic to the shishtibo, not the uh, and I would go there for Shabbos morning evening I I went there whatever nine nine thirty whatever the evening was. And Punk Bashkacha Pratis, there was a little kutateta there. And I used to enjoy uh, 
you know, but Ben Gavra and the Gavra is just not my, uh, because I always had, had no, I always enjoyed looking in other swarm. I always enjoyed. So it was also Bashkar Brothers that was to hunt. So when I got when I got married and I went there, so what did I bought a terror look at the terror, I bought a you know a chita, so I bought a later there. So I, I like I said, I was familiar with some of the concepts. I had a good friend in Lakewood who used to try to schlep me to Lubavitch events. Um and he gave me back then in Lakewood he gave me the country Sinyanashal Terasach Siddhis, which you know, I I was very impressed by. Uh, yeah, that, that's a revolutionary uh, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, I know that. Okay, this is this is big stuff. That's probably why I was as offended as I was in Tavshim Ches. So right. as as a macho, as a macho against the, my own world where I was coming from, I would I was hanging out in the shul there during the craziness that was going on. Um, so whatever, that's what I'm saying. It's hard. It's not, it's like a weird journey. It's like hard to describe because not right. It, it, it sounds it sounds very much that there was little. You know snippets here and there, and then and then it right, came right. into Let's take this, right. There's there's no big there's no big reveal. There's no big moment. There's no big right. So so I wanna I, w- of, I wanna I wanna I guess the, fast forward to to the year to specifically. I mean, talking about Mashiach. I, um, it I want to know exactly what where you were. I guess Chav Nissen when you heard about the Sicha, or if you were in Kranites, when you heard the Sicha, what I guess what your feeling was in then, and then go from, and then if you can, go from Chav Nissen and go into um, the whole, all the Sichas of of the rest of the year, Nun Aleph, and then into the Sichas of Nun Beis, if you can touch on that. Okay, so basically what happened was, so at that time, when I started getting serious about it, when I came back to America, and so I did that first Shabbos we came back, was the Shabbos of Pashas Bay Tafshin Nun Aleph, and I set out to I set out to walk to Crown Heights, but my in laws I, I would have done, I would have wanted to go earlier, but the, the, my wife said no. Nah. You know, they, they were nervous. I'm walking into a bad neighborhood, and believe me, in those days, literally, I once tried to take a car service there, and the guy would not drive through the park. He like he wouldn't, you know. This was wow. now. Then later they clo- ended up closing the park, but it used to be for to drivers. Park. It used to, Prospect Park used to be. Oh, uh, driver cars were able to drive through. Yeah, yeah the car service wasn't like it was terrified to even like uh, drive through uh. the park at night. It was like, but I set out Shabbos day. I set out, and uh, two of uh, Simcha's father's friends. Uh, I have the Ashkach Brothers. I bumped into them on the way, and the uh, Stroh and Steinmetz, and the. Uh, <laughs> I, I I was just walking in that general direction. I had no idea what I was going. I hadn't been there in years. I didn't know. What Figured I'll walk towards the direction of Prospect Park, see what happens. Though so they got me there. Um, so it was, it was also very, that was a little bit of a shtickle powerful moment because um, I, I, when I got in, there was no place to squeeze in. There was no place to get in because they had made the room smaller and tighter because they didn't want the Rebbe to strain his voice. So they made the area with the bleachers and everything, they made it much smaller. So to try to find a place, basically, there was not, we came late. I came, you know, um, so there was no chance of anything. Of this. So I decided I came to see the Rebbe. This is the, you know, this Gulf War started. I came to see the Rebbe. I heard everything that I had to say about the Gulf War. I came to see the Rebbe. I'm going to see the Rebbe. So I climbed up the bleachers that were, um, with the back to the Aaron Kaidish, those bleachers. And so I had one foot on those bleachers and one foot on the bleachers on the end of the dais and holding on with the one. And so basically I was hanging in midair, <laughs> the clean shaven nut who showed up out of nowhere and is hanging in midair between the two bleachers. And, um, but I, that's it. I decided I, if I came, I came. This is what, um, and, so the famous part of the Sikha, which the Rebbe said that they should not review and that they should not publish about Bush and Saddam Hussein and uh, finishing him off. So the way the Rebbe said that Sikha was he turned in his seat to the right. And he looked right at me. I was between, you know, it was, I was in the empty space. That was where the empty space was. He was like looking at, the people at the crowd, he's looking, I, I was in the empty space. So he's looking right at me. <laughs> and that's what the Rebbe was saying this whole piece. And you, I could hear more of the words. I couldn't hear most of the words of what the Rebbe was saying. 
but I could hear a lot more of the words when the Rebbe was saying that it was like he's, uh, you know, stronger voice and was looking right at me. Um, so that was, you know, one kind of spooky uh, experience. Um, so, I, you know, like I said, at, so at that time I was basically what I would, I would showing up Sundays for dollars and months in the Yavil, uh, I, uh, every couple of weeks I would maybe walk in to the Shabbos or bring him. Um, because it meant staying till after Shabbos, and it meant like a whole. You know, my wife, we, we had a young child. It wasn't like you know, not something she was used to grow up with. It was you know, um, and um, so this is Nun Aleph. Hold on one second. So I'm going. Oh, so the thing is like this. So I, how how I got the new Fabrengan every week was I would go to the to the um, candy store under the train tracks to buy the new Kvar Chabad to get the new Sikha. Sikha. That's how I, right, so that's how I kept up to the regular Kudus because you get in the shuls, you know, you, the shuls that would throw them in the shamer, so I knew where to find the, uh, sorry sorry to disappoint all the guys who are doing this amazing hafatsa, but you know, I used to get a lot of stuff out of the shamers of shuls that the Gabe would come in for the people and toss them in the shamers. Some shuls not, and, and later actually, it's not. it wasn't as bad as back then. But so I came. Uh, so, but the um, so I would go through the the, the weekly sicha, and nobody taught me <laughs> how to filter the Rebbe out. You know what he means oh, wow. for real. What he what he doesn't mean for real. The Lubavitchers seem to have some kind of special uh, insight. Yeah, the, there is the definitely a <laughs> sort of sneaker code with by by dollars or sicha the Rebbe's expression. Each one has its own homemade, right. so each yeah. one has its homemade filtration system, like what, yeah, what not, what's for real, what's not, what's what's mechayev, what's not mechayev, what's just that ever talking in Indian. There's such a thing as talking in Indian. Uh, I didn't know any of that stuff. So to me, I'm reading this stuff and I'm freaking out because the, I mean, just like if this is real, then you know, this is like this is wild stuff. Um, so, so wait, so on I, on that note. Know, and, can, can you can you talk specifically what your impression was on on Chav Ches, what, the sicha of the adults? So I was not present. I missed it. Uh, right, yeah, but learning the sicha. It, when, um, um, if you can remember, I, I I can, but it wasn't as earth shattering for me as if it was probably for people who had this whole philosophy of you know whatever their pre-existing philosophy was. But I understood that it was a big moment. And so I came to all that sifas they made afterwards about what to do. And um, I did sign on uh, Kabbalah Um uh, about you know, it was a, a few weeks after I stopped shaving, I signed on a Kabbalah Samalchus. So that Pesach, uh, I didn't... <laughs> When I, you don't shave for Sphira, so after that phase, I didn't uh, start shaving again. So that was like, uh, that's ha- how much of a beard I had at the time. Um, so, yeah, I, it, you know, I was, uh, I understood that this was a wake-up call. Uh, I didn't quite um, relate to how everybody else was, uh, re- re- how the the, 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 the Lubavitch reaction was. Um, so because, your Isyashvas was, was kicking in no I just it was no I was I had the, the, the Gantz spiralis of what was going on but it was just the idea that I, I don't think we're getting the message that the Rebbe is demanding something of us in, in a real sense the, the, everybody it was sort of turning it around to how are we the devil is demanding of us to sort of somehow um trick him into doing it you know uh, not trick oh, him wow. but ah, trick it was him. all about it was of, all about finding a kunz. yeah like we have to somehow come up with a chap that's going to force him to do it i remember later you know uh, sitting at a fabrengen with a, a certain well known uh, mashiach activist uh, was for bringing that they should that in Beth Israel they should take the Rebbe's bed and throw it out the window, and that way the Rebbe will have to get up and uh, and, and redeem class. So whatever I'm, this was really the people had this very strong feeling it was um, so even even as they were saying 
you know, Chazring had it ever saying, don't put it on me, it's on you, but they still had, it's on me to put it on you. It was always, it always ended up being turned around to, um, and, I, you know, I, I just, I saw this as they came out afterwards, I said, you know, I was, I didn't know, and I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anybody. I literally did not know anybody. Um, Nobody, nothing. I was not into. It was just me in, in a basement, and sitting in a, a basement of a shul in in, in Bar Park, or sitting uh, alone somewhere. And this was I had. I did not know anybody. Some uh, maybe a, in that period of time, maybe a total of three people said Shalom Aleichem to me in about a year uh, and a half. My kid is be draining in, in Lubavitch, starting with you know, starting with out of beard and starting with and then showing up. You know, I came for wow. the Shana Yom Kippur and Numbez. I came with a, with a non Lubavitch talus and a silver tar on it. And so it was a total right outreach to strangers wandering into 770. I think I got three Shalom Aleichem. Um, maybe four. I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm saying it was like I do know about it. So I'm just like an observer. The whole thing is I'm just watching this thing unfold. And I saw what the Rebbe said in Sikh in Rosh Shmini and Tazriya Matsur. By the way, what happened was I saw everybody was saying Chav Chasnissim was out of the blue. But I had learned the Sikh of Chavav Nissen. And the Sikh of Chavav Nissen, the Rebbe was screaming. I did scream about storming about how are you talking that people aren't going wild about the Nissan. And how come they're not dancing in the street? And then afterwards, oh, right afterwards, Benachem Galitsky started a circle out in the street. And they danced a little bit in the street. But it was like, and when I saw the Chav, so when I saw the Chav Ches Nissen, it was to me like, it's just he's saying, you haven't been listening to me. Not, it was like, oh, a new thing out of the blue. It was, well, if you were following what I said up till now, <laughs> wow, you should have been, you know, out in the streets. You should have been, um, Changing your 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 inner worlds and your outer worlds and getting ready for for the main event and people were just like wow isn't the Rebbe amazing and the Rebbe says I know I'm amazing I didn't come to this world to more people to know that I'm amazing I came here to get you to do what you need to do so whatever I, so I saw it I, you know so on one hand I was very caught up in it I was in it I was a part of it but on the other hand it just I would look at the side and say like. You know, that's it. People, people. I would come to a Fabrengen, and the whole Fabrengen would be how the Rebbe is everything and we're nothing. Okay, but the Rebbe said the whole point that the Rebbe is trying to say is, I get it. I know you're nothing. Fine, but I'm giving you all these kaches to now you nothing. Do something. I you don't have. To, I'm giving you the kaches. So don't stop being a nothing in terms of. But you do. You could be a nothing for yourself. So if you're such a nothing, and therefore you don't want to have any hanof in Elam Haza, or you're a nothing that you want to that you want to indulge in Elam Haza, which kind of nothing are you? If you're kind of nothing, that Mamre succumbed to the garden. It's a fine, great, but there's something you need to do. And I, the people, very sincere people, are very. I, I, I'm not knocking anybody. I saw people Mamish that you know tremendous with tremendous personal self sacrifice and tremendous. Devotion and tremendous, but I they were barking up a tree that I thought is the tree that the Rebbe was saying, "This, is, this ain't the tree." <laughs> uh, and tree. you would, and by these fabrings that you were sitting by, you would you would voice your your. I never said a word. I, if I, no, if you. I came, what the, you were just point, an observer, some, right? At some point, I started. At some point, they started coming to the. You know, it, it was costing me a ton of money because my, you know, my wife and mother-in-law would not let me take trains. So it, it, car services then was, you know, not like they are today. You know, the price of Ubers and car services today is insane. But then it was still not cheap for that uh, time. And so they, if to go at night meant car services. To get a car service in Crown Heights at night was almost impossible. I would, You'd have to stand out on the street and wave a guy down. So you oh, would wow. have all these guys, White Pearl and, and all of those other the black car services, you'd wave a guy down and sometimes he would say yes and thank you. Um, so I, it was cost me a ton of money. I started going to the Siyumi Harambam. So I did get to know uh, the, the regulars there. But at that time, the Siyumi Harambam, even though they were still they were small, but because of the hookup, 
and people all around the world really listened in to that hookup then, because that was their connection to 770. So any guy, you know, anybody, Rilisky's, Rilisky's, Rilisky's yeah, yeah, that was the it was a big thing because anybody uh, who was a guest in town came. I mean, I people like Manus Friedman came and, and spoke at the. Ooh, yeah. what type of stuff was Robert Manus Friedman saying? I'm saying another way, <laughs> because if you're in town and you wanted to be heard by the shluchim around the world, it was their place. That's where you went. That was the address. Was the place. So yes, yeah, so you heard everybody, anybody who was anybody and was in town, it would come. It, it, you know, and I, there were plenty of guys who were probably it was you know didn't pass for them. They're too great. And too awesome to sit with, but about almost everybody who was anybody at that time, you know, uh, would come in for bring. And I would, yeah, you know, so I would hear all the stories. I would hear the people. Um, I remember actually very close to each other at that time. Was this was this whole new thing? Uh, but that was uh, no, you know what? I, the truth is that I was doing that more later in 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 Mumbai's and and in Gimel, but. Um, so, I, did so, start in, I did start in the summer of Nanalf because I remember that they made me stop going when the riots broke out. So I had already been doing it. Uh, my my in, my mother in law <laughs> forbade me to go. My wife and mother in law forbade me to go when the riots were going on. So I did go once anyway. But uh, it's just getting, uh, but yeah, I did. So, I, I really. So can we? So let I, I want to. I want to. I guess shift the the conversation and focus on. Um, more starting starting with Nayah, Vayera, Chaisara, all when when these sikhs are coming out, and um, I, I'm assuming you weren't there Shabbos, but you were hearing the sikhs or you were seeing this learning sikhs after. I, like I said, I, I, occasionally I would go there Shabbos, but mostly I was just yeah getting right. The, so getting so what I guess them. what was your what was your impressions and reactions to the to the, get, to the when, when I knew the weeks that I knew it was in Yiddish, I would make sure to get the, a Yiddish copy. To, right. Um, to see it in the original, not the translation. Um, so the, the thing is like this. I, you know, let me jump ahead to to so Rishchayish Kislev after the first Rishchayish Kislev after Gimel Tamas. So at this time, I had already started speaking. I was speaking. Uh, I spoke in I, I was every look. Every, I spoke in the Zal and in the Nalatera. I spoke in, in Maristan. I spoke in. Um, Numerous other places uh, in 770. I, I was there was the tukufa that I was like speaking a lot about in Yoni Moshech Gula. I spoke on a hookup for Shluchim, arranged by the Shluchim. Uh, it was oh, wow. the Shluchim was then, but it was whatever. It was that. What, what did he say to the Shluchim? Um, yeah, so this was, I, you know, I I was like the new kid in town. This is the outsider who's with a kachim Moshech, and sort of people felt could is actually able to explain some things that others were. Um, before I, I before I did that, I actually I should I, I'll jump backwards now for a second. Um, I have, was going through all the sikhs, and I started going to all the mashpiyim and Lubavitch and saying, "Why are you talking this way when the sikhs are saying something different?" And they said, "Well, how do you understand the sikhs?" So I would sit. I spent hours with uh, all the names that you know, um, going through what what it says. So they said, "Okay." So they said to me, you know what? Go talk to the Yael. He's the one that's running the the the, the yeah. Mahalach. Evans, Evans, following him. You talk to him. So I set up a, a meeting with him, and nobody believed me. I was, what year I is said, this? This is Tavshin and Gil. And I sat with the Yael Khan. Um, this was Pesach time, Tavshin and Gil. I sat with him for four hours in his wow. house. You know, there are people that afterwards didn't believe me that he gave me four hours. Sat for four hours. I went through sikh after sikh after sikh. He said, I said, I, I said to him, I said, you're coming with a message. You're the guy. Nobody comes to you to hear about Amuna. Everybody comes to you to hear about Hasbar and Seichel. Nobody comes to you to hear about Amuna. They hear about Amuna. They have all kinds of other guys who that's their specialty. Everyone comes to you to hear Hasbar. And all you're telling them is, your message is, I don't have Hasbar. It's all Seichel. It's all Amuna. So when you tell them I don't have Hasbara, that means, and all you have, you, and all your Hasbara is why there's no Hasbara and it's Amuna. So you could give long drashas with Hasbara, but Hasbara always came back to the fact that we we don't understand. So I said, so you, the message is that you know it's not in this world. It's something out of this world. It's something that uh, doesn't make sense to us. It's something that you know. So he said, so what do you think? So he, 
And by the way, he never spoke to me afterwards again. More than 30 seconds. <laughs> no, literally. I did, did, 30 seconds max he gave me. He was like, there was no. Uh, he wrote an article against part of what I was saying, actually, in Krachabat under his pseudonym. Um, but he did start including in his talks a lot of the points that we covered, a lot of the points that we discussed. Um, so, you know, it, it, it definitely there was a shift. Um, and so that's what I said. In Nundalit is when I started becoming more of a, I actually went public. So that was around huge spot, Tufts and Nundalit. And so, so I just, let me tell you about the, the talk that I gave on Rishchai Shvat. So Rishchai Shvat is the first Rishchai Shvat after Gimel Thomas. So Mayor Harley, it's every the whole place is, like, is people are completely, you know, lost. Um, there's a lot of division. There's a lot of sides. There's court cases starting. There's things going on. Um, nobody knew what's what. Uh, Tishrei was like uh, deserted. You, you, you can't even imagine what Tishrei looked like. People who were there before, people who were there, you know, a few years later, can't imagine what Tishrei was like in Nunhe and even in somewhat in above. But in Nunhe, it was like really, so the Rishchai the Shvat, the Mayor Holly is not making a suda for Rishchai the Shvat, so the Gaboy, uh, at that time, Menachem Galiski was one of the Gaboy, but uh, whatever, the Gaboy arranged the uh, Rishchai the Shvat. Uh, I'm saying. Yeah. So, it, it, so it was set up that way with the, you know, the beam in the back and, and the mire of the way, you know, that little platform there in the back. And I spoke. At this Rishchai the Shvat thing, so I'll tell you a little bit the detail of what I spoke. And you see, again, we go back. If you want to go back to specific sikhs, you go back to specific sikhs. Basically, the detail that I spoke was that I saw a lot more signs of it later than even I knew about then. But the, the Rebbe's, you know, even before the Nasiyas, the Rebbe would write to people that the free the Rebbe gave jobs to to for outreach. And the Rebbe would say, and they would be quatching, of course. Uh, <laughs> you could be, I mean, you know, I had no time for learning, davening. Uh, I came to be a I didn't come to be a, you know, a, a, a running around, being a malamed for little, just loving little kids. And, but that makes it, it, it's very fascinating when you see the answers that the Rebbe's writing for those people who are out on these different kinds of shlichus and of the free of the Rebbe. The Rebbe's kav was that do it like the real parachute. That he said everything he does, he does his own suppress the leg and our Kasidas. You should know that Nasa Mechev will leave Zachim Elif Pam and Kacha. Why are you why are you talking about one in why are you talking about you doing this instead of that? What do you mean? You're getting a, a tremendous leverage here of Mechev will leave Zachim Elif Pam and Kacha. You you forget you 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 build Baracha. You traveled, you did all those things that he did. He says all suppress the leg and our Kasidas. That's the way you should do it. Other of I'm, no one's telling you not to say this. And the Rebbe used that kav, and even at the beginning of the Nasiyas, the Rebbe still spoke in such oasis. In later years, not as openly and as frequently, but in later years also, there were times, uh, so I was quoting from the Sefer uh, Sef, uh, Hashlichus. There were two Maduras. One was of the early years, and then came out with all the later Mugadik uh, um, and so on. But in, in some of the language that the Rebbe used, was about where the Rebbe spoke about. He doesn't understand that he, 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 he's telling everybody that the shlichus makes my family be zachem elaf pam kacha. But what do they what do they think that if you have to use it if you have that 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 mind you have that heart you have to use it it's not going to magically do it by itself. We're giving you these unbelievable tools and you got to use them. So I so I, I quoted a lot of those things that the Rebbe said. Um, Maybe Achim shall pay Sechlam a dollar about what the uh, what it means to be a, a Tamim in response to uh, um, Rashag's uh, question about uh, is it true what they're saying that now uh, Lubavitch is about outreach and it's not about the uh, Tera So and that's uh, and the Rebbe Mamish uh, spoke very very strong that it's only about Tera and Avayda. The outreach is just is, is, is a part of the Tera and Avayda. So I said, I said, Lemaisa, yes, very nice that ever spoke those things, but Lemaisa practiced Gerard. The Olam did not take it as it was said. The Olam takes it, the average guy who takes it as a stira, 
and he's picking outreach work instead of the the other work. He needs to take over. That's it. it not does mean one guy will open a safe for more, one guy will open a safe for less, one guy will give more shurim, one guy will give less shurim. But the con- the idea was the, the idea as it is. I'm gonna in real in in real world terms, the uh, except for maybe some singular exceptions that it was once said have one shliach who and that one said <laughs> about I think May, about Gurkov in Massachusetts that it was said uh, it, it was not there was like it was. You know, and it wasn't the rule. Did not, and, and, and did ever did not at any point, you know. Uh, so I said, if you look at the seals of an elephant in base, I think the Rebbe is telling us he's not going to Mashiach as the Rebbe who failed uh, <laughs> to to make chassidim that are chassidim of chassidus and that are only chassidim of, of outreach. That's it. I, I don't think. That's the plan. I don't think that was the mysterious notion of the Alter Rebbe on Yutas Kislev. I don't think that was the mysterious notion of all the Rebbe. He's telling, he's letting you know. If you look, to go through the sikhs of Nanalaf and Mbeis, he's letting you know that, that no, you. It's not enough to. You have to represent. You can't just present. You can't just teach that. You have to represent. You have to be what you're teaching. And the Rebbe, the Rebbe, I mean, that was the Maim Ravat, the Tzavah, that was all the Sikhas. Sure, occasionally, you know, people will, will pick a Lashem from a Sikha here, yeah, and then, yeah, and then the next uh, day, the next day or two, the Rebbe said, uh, uh, how do you hit? You know, people pick out a Lashem from the Noyach, Tavshin, and Beis, and read it a certain way. I said, yeah, and then a few days later, the Rebbe had the Yechidus for Bachram and said that it should be up to Lake Bayabacha as a double Pasha, that he needs to know Kala Terakul. Should yeah. That I was like, no, nah, that should be. And by the way, something which when the Rebbe was asked in earlier years, um, famously, um, Kurtz from England is wanted to come up with a program that how Bakram could uh, could go through Shas at least once. Uh, and when he brought that, the Rebbe, the Rebbe said, "By this, this to fill Halton by that." That's what the nurse the Rebbe. He had a program how he's going to do it, a, a Girsa program, and how he's going to. Um, so and, and then the Rebbe turns around. The Rebbe, so the Rebbe is telling you, if you're learning pshat, that I'm saying less Torah and less Avodah, and more whatever it is, more filling, more native Shabbos, what more jumping up and down and screaming, more whatever the more is. But if it's you think that I'm not talking about more Torah and Avodah. Which I told you in Shabbos Parsha Shmini, that's what I'm talking about. It does Rebbe Tzera? I also was really saying that somehow you managed to only figure out from Taz Rebbe Tzera that I was saying that Chassidim say about that Rebbe that he's Mashiach. Fine, you managed to get that, but that's not what I was saying. Fine, in each sicha you took out what you wanted to take out, what fit your narrative. But I'm not saying I'm actually. But again, I, again, I, I don't want to come across like I'm saying that I'm promoting from Kai. I'm not promoting religion. I'm, I'm not promoting religion here. What I'm telling you is that Spiris HaMalchus is, the whole point of Gula is, that Svir, in the language of Chassid, is that Spiris HaMalchus goes from an Akuda to being a patz of Sholem that's not only um, Shava B'Shava and Panim B'Panim with, with Zabayla, but it's Ayla Lamayla. And it's uh, so it, it's and it's all about the erchaiser. You want to talk about the cases? The the power of the erchaiser is not that it is that not that you, you just have like the the mitzrayim. You just have the moon and everything else is in the toilet. It's that no. It's that it's that like the Rebbe says about the tzava. You take that nakuda of of that the Rebbe is awaking in you that that Mashiach is something that's in your kishkas, right? You didn't. That's not something you do accomplish through Avoida. The Rebbe is waking up something in you. Now take that and 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 actualize it in all of your kaiches because that's the power of archeiz of of, of the kesem of atalamayla. The power of that is that not that you have less giluyim. No, the earlier generations had gilu, higher giluyim mitzad or yasher because they're higher. They're closer to the source of the light. To get more light, they have more light. Your power doesn't come from there. You're at the end. You're you're the heels. You're dead. Dead man walking. That's the heel is the Malacham Avashabadam. You're fine. We got it. You don't have a heart. You don't have a head. You don't have a heart. Fine. 
but you have the kayak, you have the kayak of Beichem is the Libe Zachem Ela Pavel Kach. You have the kayak of the Erechayzer. The kayak of the Erechayzer is contrary to is different than Ariyasha in that it it's not exciting. It's not exciting. What it is is you do it as you do. You don't have these dramatic change experiences and then like transformative experiences when you do. That at some point you like look back and you say, "Oh wow, look where I am." <laughs> I would have never thought I would end up here, um, but yeah, look at that. You know, so the guy who started out with barely, you know, uh, so the guys who did it in shluchas, that a lot of people have done it. They started out and just kept going, 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 and now they look back and say. Wow! If you would have told me twenty years ago when I started out that I would have these buildings and I would have this, this and I would have that, I would have thought you were dreaming. I, it, it, you know, it's, it, it's not this, you know major epiphanies and and, and and revelations. It's like it, it's it's just the reality itself aligns with the truth. So it, same thing in Abay the Panimas. It sounds like people think, oh, because I can't meditate for five hours. So, you know, I don't meditate for five minutes either. I don't even meditate. I mean, but I've thought about doing some of the most basic, basic yisaitas of chassidus. I haven't spent five minutes. I just, I, I was once, the, somebody invited me to give a shir during a certain kufa when there was like a whole group of bachram that were considered like top, top bachram learning in 770 in one shot. It was like it was big heads and big this. So the guy invited me, uh, this one, one, one went off to college, one went off to... It is today. It was and it's, this guy invited me to give him a shirk here, and he said, "But you know, this is not. No, this is that you know, it is not gonna. This is not a ra. It's just guys want to hear ra ra ra. You're gonna have to give them real shayla." So I said, "Okay, you know." I showed up. So the first thing I asked, they said, "You know, you're familiar with uh, is it a long way and a short way in Tanya, and basically the short way is from chapter 18 through 25." Uh, so all that I was said, so you need to know that this really, 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 really works, and it works like." A hundred percent. It's not like you can bombish to your Torah mitzvahs with absolute love and fear of Hashem. Real. It's your hidden love. It's not something that you built up yourself. That's why the Rebbe explains. It's not two. Can't be two separate paths. It has to be incorporated into one. But basically, now the Rebbe says, you know, that's it. It's do or die. Everything is either you're accepting God's oneness or you're rejecting God's oneness. And because you're ready to die, rather than reject God's oneness, you're all in. And when you remind yourself how you're all in with God, so I said, you know, I've heard you guys are, uh, you know, serious knackers of this. I'm curious, did you once in your life spend five minutes? This is this is the way. I, we, we go through chitas and we promote Tanya learning around the world. Did you ever once, it could be you did five hours. You don't have to, I'm, 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 I'm not saying, do you ever do one, in one sitting, at least five minutes about, and they all like look at each other a little embarrassed and they're like, so I think I'm not knocking anybody. I think people are amazing and people are sincere and people are want to do the right thing. I think people are being misled. Uh, I don't think they're in any way bad. I think people are being, or you know, or or not smart enough to to see the the truth. It has to do with not being smart. It has to do with there's a culture and there's an environment and people are, so now it, they, maybe there's a split, so you can pick which environment you, you relate to more, but, you know, which collective approach of thinking. The, the idea that, um, like I said, I don't think that I was going to the Gula with got, with, with, with Lady Kaplan and, and, and Taita Hertz. I think he's going with, he wants people who come with the whole package. I think that's what he told us, and, you know, and all those things. I think that's what he said, let us know about the Tzavah. That's what he told the Shluchim on the uh, Parashat Chai that so that's, that's, that's Chai Yisara. That's Chai That's Chai Yisara. That's Chai Yisara. That's Chai That you should greet Mashiach. You should greet him properly. Mashiach, mit Asr Chai Yisara Nefesh. That's Chai Yisara Nefesh. I'm not showing up to, 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 to meet a bunch of guys who, who are not showing up with, who are not showing up with real Chai I'm not. So I, I'm the... Not, the, important the, qualifier, the, I think, the, is the, that the Ruki means it's not just enough. To, and, and by the way, this guy's watched a tremendous became a that uh, 
mind blowing, and that's a different sugi. But I'm saying the the inner the inner stuff that you it, it that people you can't even talk about. Maybe it's thicker stuff. You're like a weirdo. You're like a, an oddball. You're like a what? you can't talk about. It. I don't. You know what I mean? I could. I people say to me, "Oh, why didn't you ever make a career of being a speaker?" Because you know, I don't want to get paid to say messages that are not what I think the message should be. So, you know, yes, it'd be nice to have the money. It'd be nice to have the exposure. It'd be nice to have this. But I, I, I'm just not doing that. I'm not becoming a crowd pleaser. And sorry, I maybe I should. Maybe is it, is it impossible to getting, also say dumb, the right, right? thing? Hmm? Is it possible to be a public speaker and only speak your heart? Or does it necessarily uh, mean you're going to have to say, be I a crowd pleaser? I, 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 what, what would happen is, it's, I had a few experiences where I, I spoke in a lineup of a few speakers. And afterwards, and what I was saying was very different than the other speakers. It wasn't like close. But I was using all the same sources. It wasn't like, it wasn't. And I met people afterwards who absolutely, it was one big mishmash to them. What this guy said, what I said, they were asking me questions on what he said, on what the other one said, on this. And I said, I, that wasn't me. I was saying, you know, that's his thing. Uh, you know, he, he says he knows Kitsum. He knows how to figure out uh, whatever. I, I don't know that stuff. Why are you talking to me? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, forget about Kitsum. We have a job to do. And, um, Okay, it was so. I so I saw that if you that if you try to beat around the bush, but whatever. So the kids, I spoke to this teich of the kids at this rishchidish uh, at this rishchidish kislev thing, and I heard afterwards from the other people sitting on the dais. One of them is the two are no longer with us. Um, that Rabbi Marlow turned to them and said, "He's right." <laughs> <laughs> he heard, in other words, he, he, he heard it. He heard it. It didn't make. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense that the devil. Do you really think that that's you're gonna you're gonna make the devil so great and so great and so great and 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 and, you, and, and he's not great enough to win your mind and heart? Only your hands and feet. That's all he gets. He gets your hands and feet, and maybe you know he gets your amuna. They're fine, but you know you're not. Really I mean, elef elef ragli amash Yes, the feet are great, but he wants you. He wants you head and heart. He, he, he tells you. He's telling you. He wants you as a kind of an average. He wants well, you as a kind of And there's a resistance to it. It's not like, you, listen, people are really making good faith effort to show up with as a kind of an average. You know, they're not being so successful. Nobody said anything about being successful. To how much each individual is going to be successful or not be successful is a different thing. That I was said. You know, who if this is Israel be called Sarais or before who if this is Israel be called Avinai. So I'm not talking about being. I that ever talks about being a Benoni. That ever talks about being a Tzaddik. That ever talks about. That's what I'm saying. I'm sitting in my basement and I'm reading these things in, in the basement of the shul and I'm reading this stuff and then I come out to 770 and it's it's garnish is you know, you know, it was bamish like nothing. I reviewed it later when I was studying in yeshivas and I, I would chaz it as but and. People would say that. Uh, so I would say, ask your mash, ask, ask your mash uh, That's what I would do. ask your mash beam, What it means, and I would get reports back. The first, uh, this one asked uh, this very famous mash was asked. The Rebbe never said such a thing. Then they showed him inside. He said, "Oh, blah. so it must mean blah 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 blah." And this is everyone had what it must mean. That you could be inside the go. I was like, you know, you know, I I, I went around asking people, what is the. the if you be misbein and the stack of bishleish and varim, and not the bali de avera, you won't even have, you won't even have to struggle with tivus hat. Right. And the rebbe does qualify. Uh, the rebbe adds. In fact, the rebbe says, and not the bali de avera. The rebbe adds, and even yede avera, which is even tivus hat. Right. The rebbe has no qualifiers there. So what qualifiers? So this, it puts in zero qualifiers. It says that works. Yeah, are we working it? Are we trying to? Are we figuring out? Uh, it, 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 any serious thinkers sit down together, put their heads together, and say, "Hey, this is nuts." The Rebbe said this, and 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 why? why and and we, why are we walking around like you know? Oh, and I'm very serious because I say, what about Taiva I am? And what a grubby young I am? And I say it with the two hundred fifty dollar scotch. So now I'm really a grubby young, so I could show, and uh, the $150 meat board, and 
And says, yep. yep. so now the Gabriel, so now the Gabriel, they had me for the Nandalas. Because now I'm a Chiddush Shabbendel. I'm a Chiddush Shabbendel. Because even though I'm grub, but I'm, but I care and I cry, Rebbe, I Rebbe, and I cry. And so I'm glad I said, okay, fine. It, it, it's, it's something very moving and very touching about all that, honestly. I'm not making fun of it in the sense that I'm not touched by it. I am touched by seeing a serious grub young crying into his. Two hundred fifty dollars scotch. I never, never. I never. We need you. I mean, it's very moving. It's very touching because it's something very, very powerful and very real. There, it's that nakuda. You're seeing the nakuda, the nakuda, the nakuda of. Okay, let's hope he does. Let's hope he's not a ganva pumachtarta. But <laughs> it's that same nakuda that the ganva pumachtarta has, and it's very, it's very moving. It's very touching to, you know, to hear about a guy who's uh, dancing around the statue of Buddha and Rayim. Uh, you know, and and and, uh, and when the guys come, he screams, "My Israel!" Okay, uh, fine. You know, uh, it's very touching, very moving. But we recommend that everyone should now go on Shabbos Yom Tov and then dance, uh, boys and girls, uh, around the uh, Abada statue, uh, and then scream, "My Israel!" If if terrorists come, no, we're not recommending that. So the fact that that it's there and it's very powerful, it's very moving, it's very touching, it's very tragic, and we feel it in our kitschkes. It's not that we don't just hear it. We feel it. If you have any kind of Yiddish feeling. But that's not that's not the solution. That's not the prescription. That's well, very I'll, nice. I want to add... Not, yeah. I want to ask you about... I want to ask you a little bit about... Um, I guess you're saying, you're saying essentially, right, that the whole, the whole vert really is... To to come, I guess to come. The, basically, the Rebbe wants wants from us that that uh, um, results. He wants results not necessarily in the world. He wants results in us, right? Well, yes, and yeah. Well, not, it, it's not. It's not. It's one not of them, right? It's not. World. You're right. You're, it's not. It's not one or the other. It's not that no, we should that all close ourselves in a room and and. That was the fallacy that the Rebbe was trying to be Shaila from even before he became a Rebbe. Right, right. Look, literally go into the letters of the Rebbe from before he became right, a Rebbe. Parter. And you'll see that he was being Shaila that fallacy that there's a conflict. No. Right, right. I'm not but, saying I'm not saying necessarily the, 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 that there's a conflict necessarily, but I'm asking more, okay, not necessarily does that have to be a conflict, but which... W- when when I'm making a cheshbon and nefesh, and I'm deciding, am I am I going the right direction? So if if one of them starts, um, if if there ends up being a conflict in the sense of, let's say, um, I'm on shlichus and I'm doing I'm doing hafatza and all these things, but I am losing on this. Should I should I start taking a step back on this and then working on this, or in in the sense of not necessarily is it a conflict? Oh, but so so. So, so in that same sikh, where the Rebbe talks about a stack of Bishlash Dvarim, the Rebbe explains that the first thing is a stack of Bishlash Dvarim, that a person goes through life and he feels like um, there's a Torah of Eidek, Mitz Chasadim, and sometimes one conflicts with the other, and he he feels conflicted when he's devoting to one thing, he's not uh, busy with the other. The Rebbe says that through a stack of Bishlash Dvarim, you come to the back that not, it's, it's not a conflict. They're all per- They're all perfectly harmonized and integrated and there's no conflict between the 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 the, the, the kavim. The, the kavim are all unified. It's not the three things become one thing. So the, the whole point that's what I'm saying. The whole point is we're starting with and we raise the the kids and we raise tummy them with the conflict. The conflict and yes it's true the conflict is only the only conflict is that exists is the one with yourself. Right. The Rebbe says there's no conflict with the world anymore. Oh, wow. the conflict with the world, that's gone. The Rebbe said, about the conflict with yourself, it should be aloy vecha. It should be aloy vecha. You shouldn't be, and even if it looks like the world is, is being conflicting, just be above it and you'll see that uh, that's not a real conflict. So aloy vecha means, so it's not a new thing. It's been around since the Alta Rebbe. The Rebbe was in the Chadish, the Indian of the uh, aloy vecha. Um, but they did. But the Rebbe is telling us is, don't buy into the, the, don't buy into the story that the story is about the conflict. The story is about the revelation of, 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 of godliness. And the revelation of godliness has to take place 
And by the way, it says everywhere, it says in, it says everywhere in Kabbalah, so it's going all the way you want, from the Baal Shem Tov and from that, and it's in Tanya, and there's everything that comes out into this world has to pass through the Jews first. That's right. it. Two souls are the conduit. That means that the the, the Giloyim of 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 Lots of Lava, the Giloyim of Kulam Yedu, I see the Giloyim of Pneum and Satera, it has to come through Yidin first. And the Rebbe is telling you that those Yidin who, who are exposed to his, his teachings, it has to come through you first. Like like I said, the, the, I was once sitting by Fabrangan and there was this, uh, an, an older Jew in his 80s. He did tremendous things, of sacrifice, personal sacrifice for the Rebbe, and the Rebbe's in Yonim. And no, I'm not knocking, I, you know, I can't, you know, I don't come to his toenails when it comes to what he sacri- you know, what he gave for the Rebbe. But he's talking with Fabrangan how great the Rebbe is. So I said, I want to ask you one question. Is the Rebbe great enough to turn you into a mensch? You, you asked the shliach this? I said, is the Rebbe great enough that he could turn you into a mensch? Oh. Yes, he was not, he's not a shliach. He's a, oh, a, oh, kind of, okay. he's a kind of nice person that was uh, that uh, put his uh, neck out for the Rebbe in many ways and many. Um, I said, is he great enough to make you into a mensch? And he was like shocked at the silence. And there were a lot of, you know, he, he's like, quite a bit older than me and other people were, were like, you know, feeling very uncomfortable. He was shocked. <laughs> But well, what was I asking? I wasn't attacking him. I was saying, if you make him so great that he's out there, oh, my gizmam lachas, and he could, and he makes miracles, and he does, okay, what has he, what has he done for your mind and your heart? What has he done for your inner world? What has he done to transform? To what extent have you bought into his reality of elokus pepshitas? Because that's really what the shlichus is. Shlichus was always about. I see the reality of Elkutz Pepshitas. You see a world that's broken. I'm going to guide you in how to re- make, take that broken world and make it line up with my vision of Elkutz Pepshitas. But you have to also be going along for the ride that it should become for you Elkutz Pepshitas to the extent that you can. So if Elkutz Pepshitas, so, so it's not that exciting. Right. If, could, if if the world is bepshitus and then you have this big revelation of, of Matan Torah, it's very exciting. Everything is if if if, if Mitzrayim is bepshitus and then you have the uh, it's like everything is the world turns upside down. Right. So the, the, we could say the same thing with with Mashiach, I guess, with the Geula. That you know, for for many many years, people thought that you know it'll all come in like a massive revelation. You know, clouds uh, <laughs> splitting and the, the Beis Hamikdash coming down, and 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 Mashiach either coming on an eagle's wings or on a mule, but like you know, really cool with you know an olden day white beard, long, you know, with the old garb and a big shafer in his on his back or ho- holding it and blowing it. But you're saying that right? So essentially. Taking that continuation that I was saying in, in Chayesara, that this whole concept of of I'm I see the world like this, I see the world of the Kosb Shittas, and you you don't see it yet, but my whole vart is that I'm giving you the kayach, I'm sending you out to to take what I see and give it out. And 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 the whole right and the whole nekuda is, is that you should as the shliach itself should see elikus elikus but now translate elikus b'pshutas to geula. The Rebbe is saying that the world is already ready. It's not just the Gula, it's everything in your life. And like the Rebbe, the, the Rebbe said then in that same Cheshvan, uh, the Rebbe said, oh, you want to be rich? Uh, learn the uh, mental Rebbe said this. Uh, for sure, then you'll be rich. Right? I want so to know really... Lining up, how many people are lining up to learn the mental Rebbe says become rich? There are people who run to the... To the there, are pe- there are people who practically live by the oil. There are people who are practically... They're running here, they're running there, they're running there. there. God told them that Rebbe said, why? Because Rebbe's talking from El Kuzma And And it's and, and it's so hot, and, and you're you're so resistant to the message of El Kuzma that to you, I'm going to sit and learn mental Rebbe's and that's and that's how I'm going to... My Parnassus situation is going to change. It sounds to you like a fantasy... Some kind of magic trick, if it will work at all. And anyway, probably God is going to want to zap me anyway. He'll figure out some other reason why uh, why why to zap me and, and mess up my life because when I grow up young and whatever the whatever the is. 
But the point is that Rebbe is Mahamish, the Rebbe Mahamish Ramish. It's saying Oisius, the whole, that the truth is, if you go back to Tavshin Yudal, if you go back to Basilagani, those are really the Oisius all along. But the Rebbe used Oisius in the in the Yuds, the Rebbe used Oisius, he was still using the Oisius of Chassidus, of the traditional Chassidus. Uh, it was Miyosad Maimarim of the early Rebbe. But if you go to any Maimar, you'll see that the Rebbe, the lady has the Rebbe was shortening it and shortening it, just picking out a point. That Rebbe, but you see, everything that the Rebbe was trying to convey was, kiddies, this is stuff is real. This stuff is, 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 is hands-on reality. You, you, you heard of gravity? You heard of the, you know, the physics? You heard of, you know, you know the difference between uh, that a, a rock is hard, a pillow is soft? That, right? Not because you went to school for it, not because you went, because it's just... Oh, I only know that because we learned it in Rambam two days ago. That the different chronos that each uh, yeah. side has. Yeah, you didn't have to. You didn't have to go to. You didn't have to get a philosophy degree. This is just that kind of real. It's so real. You, this should be the reality for your kids. This should be reality for the ladies. This should be the. It shouldn't be. It's not being presented as. It shouldn't be. The Rebbe was not presenting it as mysticism that you have to leave the world to connect to. That was presented. So you're saying this is a general thing that was throughout the Rebbe's whole Messias. What? It was the Rebbe sounds like was. They won. Right, but the Rebbe was Mechadish in the Shlichus in particular, in Chaisada Kabbalah's Tim Shazakeinu. Does that mean that now this is all focused around, you have to do all this in order to greet the Rebbe as Mashiach? Or, or is it, how do you, what was the Rebbe bringing to the table as a Chiddush in Chaisada? That the now it's Kabbalah's Tim Shazakeinu. To me, partially what the Rebbe was saying is if you come ready to greet Mashiach, you have to come with all of you. Not, which I used to get very annoyed with the pajama you know the the marshal of the of the two brothers and and then they they uh, it's a crick and he didn't have an invitation to the wedding and he got his pajamas uh, whatever whole thing so the so basically the message was Mashiach is coming no matter what you do and uh, that's what the Rebbe was telling us the message the Rebbe came to tell us the listen is Mashiach is coming no matter what you do and I'm just giving that was you more the message care. I think of Nayak than Chafras listen. Yeah, I'm just giving you a chance to to to, to put on your to, to not to not come to the goal in your pajamas. And I'm saying it. I understood it completely the other way. I completely the other way. The Rebbe said, "I'm I'm ready to go." I I told you in Tavshin Yudale that Yaakov Avinu is ready to go. I'm 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 being held up so the Kindle should catch up. I told you this way back, uh, uh, forty years ago. I'm waiting for you the guys to catch up. And he's done, he basically just said it in stronger words, gave us a little heads up that things were going to be changing. And he says, I, I need you to catch up. I, I need you to catch up means that it has to become your reality. To become your reality is you're not, don't, it, 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 it's, it's not that you, you're being more careful with Shulchan Aruch and you're more careful with learning and davening and 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 Kima Mitzvahs Behedder and 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 when it with with chayas and excitement and and then when you encounter people you're you're expressing your chesedus of varam kait as the Rebbe said uh, um, and and but it, it's all coming from the fact that this is reality. It's not I'm doing this for something else. I'm doing this for so that. Uh, the people literally would fabrang, you know, especially in the school for after Chavza, I know there were people literally fabranging about, you know, whatever they thought the thing that we needed to do was, they literally talked about it like this, like a certain, I, I remember sitting with a group of guys and saying, do you really believe, this is like in Gimel, Mandala, do you really believe that there's a certain amount of people you got to get to say Yechi? When you hit that number, then Upstairs, the bell goes off, ding, 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 ding. We hit the number, the scoreboard, the scoreboard the lights up, and then uh, Mashiach comes. Is that how you see it? And the, and they told me point blank, yes. And I told them point blank, I, I pray you're right. And I pray the number <laughs> is within reason. So I don't think so. I really so what? Right. So what do you so think? So what do you think is? That need to be take things with Pneumius? What's the answer? Yeah. And right. people and, need to take the right of the and, and by the way, one of those guys became a very successful Shliach and Eretz Yisrael anti. And when he see when he comes to New York and he would see me, he would like 
he would scoot away. <laughs> like I, I would like nod at him. He, I couldn't give him a shalom aleich. He would like <laughs> he was very bad. It's because he was yes. He was very forcefully yes. I'm gonna hit the number. Ding ding ding. We got the number. We're ready to go. So is it? It's not. That's the point. Is it's it's not a, it's not about a number. There's some kind of reality shift. The Rebbe said, like the Rebbe, you know, when when Rebbe Grana came to the Rebbe after, you know, the Rebbe asked him, it was after Shabbos Parsha Shmini already. The Rebbe asked him, what's been the reaction to the Sicha? And so he says that he said to the Rebbe, you know, people feel like they don't know what to do. So the Rebbe said, I just spoke Shabbos, what to do? And the whole of Shabbos, what was the Sicha of Shabbos Parsha Shmini? The Rebbe says, the whole of Shabbos Parsha Shmini was, you have the power to draw infinite light into a finite world. When you learn Torah, when you do mitzvahs, you, could, you draw it into your own mind and heart. You can draw infinite light into the world around you. You have this amazing power to draw uh, into the world. So when you relate to it as that kind of a power, you're going to want to do more. <laughs> if you don't relate to it as that kind of a power, so then you trying to figure out what your yaitz you know, with. So the Rebbe said, I said, the Rebbe didn't review the Sikha time, the Rebbe said, I'm going to talk first. I'm going to talk to and uh, you just have to add, and then Taira Mitzvah, said the Mitzvah, and so he said, said people uh, feel that they've already, you know, uh, added, and the Rebbe called for adding a voice. But I said, it's not going to be What was said. there? Was there a shift from Chav Ches Nissen, I guess, till now? Is is there is there a difference? Like my question is, in Noyach, the Rebbe says that that we we've, you know, we made a Chazun and Nefesh, and and um, you know, all the all the Aved of of um, all the Aved of well, Golas, necessary, yeah, correct, is, has Gullis. been complete. That's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. So, and then the next week, the Rebbe is telling you to. You want to be rich to to learn the mit the the, the, the mitzvah that was chassid to learn chassidus b'shufi, and especially the mitzvah that was chassidus with mamish bar chava. If you that was all about that, but no b'pshitus that they need to know kol terekula to learn kol terekula. The next week the rebbe is saying that we need to have kibush hamaychen already. It's not yeah, just about yeah. the, and the next week the rebbe is uh, week after week the rebbe the rebbe didn't change the tune and and say uh, we need to. Sit back and, and scratch our heads to figure out why isn't. But the he changed what the uh, what the benchmark was. Whereas till now, what was necessary was the Masein of Avedisenu. Now the Rebbe says what's necessary is to pile off the Mashiach to Kano and never tell Mashiach to Kano. So even Takat Lachayda, even the Avedi were doing that, it has to be premius and uh, and we should have the goal of uh, that should be the cause of It's all betor affecting what has to happen in order to have this Talib of Mashiach to Kano that you should be able to take us out of Golas. Of course. Lachayda. I, you, you want you want you want you want to hear it? You, you want you 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 want a balabatish way of understanding it? Because the Rebbe shouldn't chap his yoyness by presenting you to the Alter Rebbe. This is my nirachos. You shouldn't chap his yoyness. Do you want the Rebbe to chap his yoyness? He's going to present you to the Alter Rebbe. He says, "Do you want to do you want to give the Rebbe his yoyness? You want to give the Rebbe uh, that the Rebbe should uh, honestly just ask yourself that question. Forget about philosophy." I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's a little, it's a little, it's a little moo. Like we're 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 already we're it's not we're we're in. Everybody, I, I would sit by Fabreng. It's where everybody would explain that the whole kavan of the Bal Shem of the Alter Rebbe was over there. Ashri was over there. Ashri was over there. Ashri. So you should be very proud to walk the way you are. Be the guys. Be the states to guys. Be very proud to walk up to the Bal Shem and say, hey, you know. I'm 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 your man. I'm the guy. I did it. You know, you know. I'm saying, and, and, and you know, and you and you know, you would be digging a hole to find a place where to bury yourself. So why do you think? <laughs> why I'm saying why, no, I did it. We're 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 mid. Why, what, what uh, really, I think, and, and, you know? And, and, and by the way, Alter Evan is this place where Alter Evan talks about. Uh, so, so, somebody was once uh, chaperoning me that uh, um, oh, you come from the literature world, so but yeah, you know, it was terror learning. So I said, okay, like like by the Rebbe, not everything is terror learning. Okay, the Rebbe specifically said that his dream, the Rebbe once spoke about he has a chazoin. He knows that his chazoin is, I never developed with Limburat Torah. 
That's the Rebbe's Chazayin. Not the, the Chazanish, and not the, the one from Lakewood, and not, that's the Rebbe's Chazayin. I never developed with Lehman out there. But, okay, let just, uh, but, but, but I said, besides that, I said, do me a favor. Take out a Torah and look at the Torah and count how many times it says the words with Talmud And in right. how many contexts. It's not just about after you did that. It's about when Mashiach comes and and Tchir Samais. I said, I said, push, push, I want to ask you a question. You know, are oh, you going to come face to face with God? And God says, oh, Lama Radin and Lama Radin. And you're going to say, uh, the, uh, I'm sure I'm sure I got nothing. <laughs> God, sorry. I got nothing. This is my language. God told you. This is what I care about. This is what I'm interested in. This is my language. You want to talk to me? You want to sit face to face to me? They never spoke at Yisrael. They never spoke at Yisrael. Um, um, that, that the, in, uh, maybe it was the Nalov still. That whatever, that the, the Indian of, uh, that everybody today is shy, not only to Akash Baruch Hashem, Kedu Hashem, Kenegdei, but even to, uh, even to, I'm thinking of the Aniyah Mishnah Tavir Sufiche, even to, um, uh, Imra Sacha, that the Ebrish is Mamre speaking through his mouth. That, that, uh, the, 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 the Rebbe is not, Right, you know, but my point, was, my point no, is, anybody, who, anybody who figured out that the Rebbe was offering coolness, that was no, you, you're right. No, no, you, you have <laughs> you, like this. You, you, you bring up a very, very good point. My, my, my only qualm is that this is something that the, that the Rebbe was his the entire Nasius. It was about this. Was trying was trying to push us into this into this thing. Um, and and Chav Chasnissin was obviously like like you said you you saw it coming because you you listened to the sikh of, 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 of that the Rebbe said right before, but something changed in 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 Noyach in Nunbeis that the Rebbe didn't start start changing his tune in the sense of uh, he's still month uh, he still everything that you're saying continues through. Um, through through Nunbeis and through all the through yes, the until the through the very yeah. end and through now, but my my point is that there was right, a shift. Right. There was something that changed in in Tefshan Nunbeis and 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 Simcho. I think was trying to say that the shift was from Masinu Vedisenu to the whole concept of of to be Zeicha to the Gula Mitzvah Shlema, and now everything has to shift. So it's not a contradiction, right? It's not a contradiction, like you said, Shlichus, Avodas HaShlichus, is not a contradiction to Avodas... The Sikh of Shmais Nambez is all about Lahavi the Mois HaMashiach, the Sikh of the... Right, right, but again... Right, so I'm not I'm not saying that it's no longer that. What I'm saying is that there was a different element that instead of a, basically like this, there's two things going on, right? And and like you you explained to me before that the whole the whole contradiction in it is in ourselves that we perceive a contradiction, but it itself is not a contradiction. So my 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 next point is that what happened in Tafshin and Bez was there was still this concept of 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 Aveda and and the Lahavi Mashiach that whole thing, uh, learning Kalatere Kula, going through going through the going through the the Chesedish Parsha and all that stuff. But the Avodas Hashlichus, the Rebbe took it out and he put in a new thing called Kabbalah Spani Mashiach Tzadkenu. He put in a new Aveda, a new, sure. so yeah, to speak, so uh, uh, thing that goes yes. hand in hand with... I will, um, address, I will address that. Yes, uh, please. Okay, allow, me, allow me to address that. <laughs> because, because we're running long. Yes, we uh, are. Basically, <laughs> I, I, guess, basically, I guess we'll finish off with this. We'll finish off with this Nakuda. Well, uh, basically, <laughs> basically, the Friedrich Rebbe describes... Uh, one of the Anashim Pshutim that he encountered over the years from earlier generations. And he describes this Ish Pashat that they learned with him, Tanya, only till Parak Lamed Hay. So he didn't mention that in passing, that one of the things they learned with him only till Parak Lamed Hay. I learned till Parak Lamed Hay today. What's that? This morning. This morning. And the Shlomo Zachi is Tanya's chair. He finished Parak Lamed Hay today. Oh. So, so, so what, 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 what was the significance of that? The significance of that was, if you think about it, what was the significance? The significance of that was that for the first 34 prakim, the al does not really, except when he talks about the Tzad, the Gomer, and what his Avayd is, but the al does not introduce the concept of um, 
any kind of, that in your Rabbi Hashem, there's anything except what's between you and God. For 34 chapters, all he talks about is you took an oath. I didn't take the oath for you. I got my own oath. You took it out. You swore up and down that you are going to be do everything you about to be a tzaddik and not be a Russian. That's your that's your you know. And you gotta you got business with the Lord, and you gotta you gotta get yourself right with the Lord. I mean that's and I'm going to show you how to do it. That's you know and you know you're going to have struggles. You're going to have ups and downs. You'll have bad days. So I'm going to show you how to cheer yourself up. I'm going to show you how to overcome that. I'm going to give you the tools that you need to work out your relationship. In fact, Lamed A, now it ever starts to explain La Sosa, so he starts to explain that, to, to explain more that Tevis La Sosa, and also to be Menachem the Bain in him, to know that their work is also of significance, they're not like the Tzad the Gama, who that's his whole work, is to Le'ach to Shechina B'Tachtoinim, his, you should know that you also have an important part of the work, and in certain ways, the fact that you could doing it through a scafia is in certain ways even more special. special because that's special. really... So you start to introduce you to the idea that you have a role to play in the cosmic uh, story. That's really... So the Vachsidim, the Friedrich Rebbe, Matru, that was a Chassidim Shechemach for a simple guy who wasn't, you know going to be a big scholar, he was going to be serious about, you know, getting right with God, that they sort of gave him the tools, they learned with him, and, and I think also he's maybe Mem, Mem Aleph and Mem Beis, or Mem Aleph through Mem Zion, something like that. But, um, so, why? Well, because the point was, that's not your department. That's the Tzadik's department. And that was the understanding. The Rebbe spoke about this in, in the Purim Mem Zion, um, where the Rebbe spoke about this idea that uh, that it comes from the Anasi who are curled, uh, but everyone understood that it belongs to the Anasi who are curled. That was that was not uh, you should know that you have a part, a big part in it, and the fact that you're muching zach and you're not having this major, uh, not having this major win that the tzaddik is having, you're you're living a perpetual struggle. You should know that your perpetual struggle is a very important component of that cosmic plan. But in Barak Mamalaf, he says, listen, you should have in mind, you should have in mind that what you're doing is part of the cosmic plan, but it's not going to be as real for you as it is for the tzaddik, because you have a different kind of relationship. Your relationship is like the Evid, and even though you have to have a little bit of Ben in you, you're not going to be like quite like the tzaddik, who's a Ben, like Maishu Rabbeinu, who's giving his life for his, for his dad. So you're, a, you know, you're in a different league. That's not... But you should have that in mind also. You should know. So it's clear, the Rebbe took the whole sentence and said, it's flipping it completely on his head. The Rebbe is saying, all the stuff that you're going to do inside yourself is not for you. <laughs> Nobody cares about you getting right with God. We care about the job getting done. But but in order to get the job done... You got to get it right with God. But not, but that, but again, it's not about, it, it's not... Of course we want you to be, of course it's going to be good for you too. Nobody's ever asked you to do anything that's not going to be good for you too. But that's not the focus. You go back literally in the youths and, 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 and the earliest, the earliest years that ever talked about, uh, that ever talked about uh, uh, the, uh, a level of Kabbalah's oil where he's not even looking for the fact that it's going to Edel him eyes. He's not even looking for the fact that it's going to slap him out of Sheltach. He's not even looking for the fact that it, he's only focused on the Abish should getting what he wants. And then the Rebbe would say, mm-hmm. when you do that, when you flip that, you buy into my vision. It's not your vision. The Alter Rebbe has told you it's not your vision. It's my vision. But when you buy into my vision, and you do, you're not ready to, you don't necessarily feel, you don't necessarily, I'm going to get inside your kishkas, I'm going to connect you to that reality that that can drive you. But it has to drive you, all of you. I need all of you. But I need all of you, but the drive is not about you and you getting <laughs> you getting yourself. You're doing all of those things. You're promoting all of those things. You're teaching all of those things. You're printing those swarm. You're teaching those swarm. All these ideas. You're doing it all in the context of Getting well, the job this is it. We're at the end. It's not now. It's now. It's not a luxury anymore. Now it's not a, a luxury item for for super special uh, people. Now it's everybody's business. So that's so it's a huge flip. It's a huge flip. Because what am I going to be talking to me about uh, an avoda, which Alter Rebbe says very clearly is not for me, and you're telling me that should be my only focus. 
So the nose says, yeah, I'm taking you to a whole different level. That's not, that's the, the flip of all flips. Do you want to know what changed? Everything changed. The whole story changed. You got to go back well, to time. Become, uh, Tadik and Gimur and Kabbalah's name is Shaf Zekeno. That's the name of the game now. Yeah, you got to go back to Tanya and everything changed. The whole story changed. Literally from the front page of Tanya to, to the, the first words. The Rebbe's vision of that, everything changed. That, that the Rebbe's vision of that is little kids saying, is, is throwing up their arm and screaming, Ki, Kara, Vilacha. But the, not just, but that's not just for the, you know, and, and then go on to grow up to be a Stab and love. But that, that should be your reality. That should be your reality because that's where we are. We're here. You know, they have the maps. You know, you are here. You are we here. The yeah. Rebbe's telling you, I'm telling you, we are here. It changes the game in every, 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 every detail. Every detail. It's, it's, it's totally and, uh, un- Until we don't do the job, um, so you think that's why we're still here. We shouldn't give neighbors any excuses. I, I, I but, want to tell, uh, you, I tell you, I said this 30 years ago. If I woke up after 30 years and I said, okay, yeah, you see, looking back, I, I wasn't the grace of Chachem then, I'm not the grace of Chachem now. I was literally just reading the, you know, I would break with, with, with young Bach years ago. I would say, listen, don't believe anything I say. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Everything I quote, Look it up. Don't believe a single word I say. Look it up. I said, but look at, this is the pair of eyes you need to look at it with. Don't look at it, the guy who learned from uh, from someone who was macabre from someone who was macabre from him, and he was like, he's a macabre from him, and he, he was back in the Tev and he was by Groenland, and he, I don't know any of these people. I never met him. I don't know anybody. I wasn't macabre from anybody. I read series that they ever published in newspapers. Look at it from the eye of somebody who is picking up a newspaper. <laughs> Don't look at it from the guy who has the whole baggage of, you know, of Greinim's uh, Fabrengens and Nisten's Fabrengens and Shabbat Fabrengens and this was very... Forget it. You don't know anything. You know newspapers. You know the language it's written in. You know Yiddish, you know Hebrew, and you know newspapers. Obviously, you have to have some background in Torah Judaism in order to understand the basic concept. Look at it through the eyes of someone who's picking up a newspaper. That's a very, that's a very good uh, perspective. Learn to if see, you uh, literally yeah. do yeah. that, if you literally do that, if you take it, take it, everything you know, and you literally do that, it will freak you out. You know what I'm saying? I, you don't know because you grew up with it. Yes, you don't know what it is to look at it from with totally fresh eyes from yeah. the outside. Like you were saying in the beginning, so we categorize so much of what the Rebbe says into things yeah. that are real, things that yeah. are potential That's real, right. things so that are fitness. like okay. <laughs> okay, and, and by the way, and by the way, if you go through Tyre Shalom. And you go through some of the Friedrich and Rebbe Sichas, you could see how there directly... Never shop the Friedrich Rebbe. The Rebbe Rashaab started showing. Yeah. And the Friedrich Rebbe and his Sichas, you can see that they're directly attacking, they're directly attacking Greiner, usually not by name. They're attacking and they say, we know you're telling the Bachram that this doesn't mean this, and this doesn't mean that, and you're not holding by this, you're not holding that. We know you're doing that. It's the wrong thing. And that's it. And you say, don't listen to them. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, and that was it. And they kept the job. They kept the job. And he kept them in the job. You have to understand, that they, uh, that in, I think that's what the Zion maybe was, so was there, that the Rebbe was from bringing. And the Rebbe spoke to the Bachra. The Rebbe said, he said like, he would turn and say, Speak to the Bachram in those early years. He would like address the Bachram. If I bring it, so he was addressing the Bachram and he said, basically, the Teichen at bottom. I don't remember the exact words. So he never said the Teichen was, Yeah, the Yeshiva's lousy. And the Rosh Yeshiva's are lousy. And the, and the Mashbim are lousy. What do you care? You're in the Rebbe's Yeshiva. And that's, and I and, and I think people didn't understand what that, all the people who quetch about the system and the this and the that, they, they're still looking for answers from. The Mashpia and, and, and the Rebbe demanded Mashmas to, to the Anhala, and the Rebbe demanded all those things. We have a system in place. We have a structure in place. Fine. Don't get hung up on the structure. Look at me. And that was the message is you have to see what I'm here for is all these guys, yeah, they, they need a salary and they need a, and they're probably doing good stuff and, you know, and, and they could be helpful and useful and, and uh, you know, I'll get to guide you on your way. I need you to buy into my vision. That's what you're here for. This is what the being in the Rebbe's yeshiva means. Buy into my vision. Don't let anybody else. 
I didn't put in superstars <laughs> who are going to dazzle you with their vision because their vision is ultimately Seichel and Nushi. I'm not selling that. So don't get hung up on this guy Seichel and Nushi or the other guy Seichel and Nushi. I'm, telling, I'm giving you the vision of reality and reality of Elokos Vipshitas, not Elokos Vipshitas as it is in Rikia Ha Pekanamba, but Elokos Vipshitas as it is in El Mahazar Gashmik. I'm telling you, follow this blueprint. And by the way, in Limerat Taira, and I, I want to tell you something. If you look at what the, at what the rest of the world is doing, the programs they're doing, the people to learn Shas, the programs they're doing for people to to to, to retain what they learn, for programs that they're doing, and they're doing for Balabat, and they're doing it for, for lay people, they're doing it. It's amazing. The Rebbe talked about knowing Kala Terakula, and this Bamish, a huge push everywhere else <laughs> to, to master all kinds of... The Rebbe has a vision. It's, it, it, other people realize it in their own kav. It's all the Rebbe's vision. They don't know it's all the Rebbe's vision. They think that they're cure of uh, professional. But America. But, uh, yeah. whatever. but the fact is, that's the, the Rebbe's vision. They, they're going to actualize it in their way. We need to actualize it in the real Hasidish, Durchgeweg, Durchgearbet, Siddish way. But it all starts with whatever it is that the Rebbe says, do it. Put one foot in front of it. The only the only way to learn three prakam of Rambam is take the book in your hand, open it up, look inside, read the words. You got to do the then look at the translation if you can't translate it for yourself. You have to do if the Rebbe says learn something for Ian, look in the Mephiris. It's it won't happen by itself. If you do the thing, but the Rebbe is telling you the power of doing in our generation is that when you do it, you will be amazed. While you're doing, you think, ah, blah, 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 blah. who am I? What am I? What is, it, what is it really worth? What does it really mean? What is it really... If you do the things and you do it with, especially if you're doing it with the right intentions, if you're really putting, thinking about what it means and what the significance is and how we're bringing the world to, to its perfection, if you think about, it, yes, maybe you don't appreciate the Yichot Nitzchi Le'elam Vod that you could have, but maybe you're too, you know, you're too spiritually dull to appreciate it, 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 eternity and infinity when you're faced with a with the uh, you know uh, a slice of pizza fine okay yes the slice of pizza wins eternity and infinity is not even a close second okay fine but but at least the idea that you're bringing the world to, <laughs> to its ultimate perfection that I know I put in your kishkas I put it in there it's something that I, I had a friend all of us show him. That before I before I had anything to do with the uh, with Lubavitch, so he, so his best friend, he and his best friend went and spent the Shabbos in Krachabad, and his best friend stayed, and he didn't. So I, this was a friend of mine. His best friend stayed in Lubavitch, and he became in Lubavitch. So he did not. So they both spent the Shabbos together in Krachabad. So he was telling me, he was telling me before I had anything to do. He said the one thing he has real hard no. He says he saw these two modern looking guys. He was coming. Uh, he was on the plane there. So there was two very modern-looking guys with very modern-looking wives, and they're yakking the whole trip. They're yakking, they're yakking. He says, these were not the guys who got up and went around and put filling on everybody. And uh, these were not the guys who. Uh, he says they were just sitting. They were like on two sides of the aisle. So they're, they're sitting and schmoozing the whole trip. And he says, uh, he says at the end, he's like getting up to go, and he says, and he says the he, he says the one turns to the other and says. And he said, <laughs> see, he, even as an outsider, he, he, he didn't know what he appreciated about it, but he sort of appreciated the fact that guys who, inside their whole tzir, look like they're so, you know, not shy to anything, that something inside them is, is, is like, you know, yeah, we're all connected to that mission of fixing the world. The devil says, work it. Backwards, vayakri, you'll get to vayikra. Yes, the traditional system is, and they never said it from day one. They never said bottom up, work it bottom up, and you'll see. But bottom up is not exciting. Bottom up is not thrilling. Bottom up is not is not you, uh, wow breakthrough. Bottom up means you daven, you daven, you daven, and then you have a day where you're like, wow. One I more know. question. So. Was, uh, uh, 
That was it. A lot of people uh, you know, you're frustrated and you're miserable and, and your mind is, is playing tricks on you and, and you, 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 you're trying to dive in and, and, and you feel like the biggest faker and you feel like the biggest phony. And you feel like it's all make-believe and it's all uh, contrived. And, and, and what am I doing here? And I'm, what, a, what a yachts, what a low life, what an idiot. And then, then you and and you, you know, and if you and if you know the Midland Evans said there's another about the uh, about the uh, um that all of your Bachshava Diba Mises that 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 are in Clipper come to fight you when you when you're davening and you see and you and you and you get to attack and meet them <laughs> and you feel like a, you feel like whatever I'm gonna tell says do it, do it, do it, show up. Show up and do it. When you show up and do it, it's not about, that's what I'm saying. It's not about, oh, when I'll be on this level, then I'll do it. I'll be on that level. This is the opposite. Take the first step, go do it, do get it, involved, do it, do take it, it seriously. That, yeah, that, is, that, that is not that, getting around. That, now, you could be a guy who started learning the Rama from the first uh, cycle, and you still don't fully understand uh, you know, 80% of what you learned, and you've never looked in any of the Farsham to find out what it means. You could do that too. I don't think you can't do that. You can do that too. But what you could do is you could also open up for yourself a new vision of what your capabilities are that you would have thought you're never shy. Like the guy who I see him regularly, the guy who who he was here on Kabutza and he told the Rebbe, he's not shy to learning anything at all. He's just, that's it. Learning's not for him. The Rebbe said, learn something that interests you for five minutes a day. I'm asking you to try this out, but you have to stop at five minutes. You must stop at the five minutes. No matter what, whatever you're holding, you must stop at the five minutes. Anyway, the guy, he's, 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 he's told his story publicly. Um, he said, he started, he figured, okay, he'll learn Chomesh Rashi. Started with Chomesh Rashi, and then you could see the five minutes, and it was immediately, he didn't know the answer to the, and it was like, bug him, and, you know. So at some point, he came back and asked permission to <laughs> go more than five minutes. But I mean, and he's an interesting guy. He's not, he's a big, he's a big learner today. Love that. But he, the point is, what the Nevis system is, you're not, it's not that I, I am this, I am this, and I'm trying to become that. I am that. You know, people say, use the line, fake it till you make it. And I say, that's not, well, so this is, it's, that's not an accurate representation of so this. So this is real it till you make it. Not fake it till you make it. Do it the most real. No, sir, do, do it and do, do it earnestly. No, but, but do it because you know this is the re, this is the reality. The problem is that I'm, my my my, my and my uh, is covering up the reality. But this is the reality. This is not... That's how the devil's approach to everything is. Just like you approach the other Jew and you say, oh, just look at his neshama. Don't look at what his outside is saying. He's screaming, I hate you religious guys. Get away from me with your stupid boxes and straps. I'm never going to do it. <laughs> okay, fine. But whatever. And maybe not the first time, maybe not the second time, maybe not the fifth time. But eventually, you know, because you're not going to look at it. You're not going to listen to that. You're not going to, you're just going to, but you won't do that to yourself. I've been like, I'm young, I'm lazy, I'm this, I'm that. Okay, that's that's a choice that you make. So that was telling you, Gaula is, you have to do that to yourself just as much as you have to do that with anybody else. Because if not, what you're saying is that there's a steer between godliness and a part of the world, and the part of the world which you're most intimately connected to. If you're screaming, there's a steer between Gaula and my head and my heart. Not the other guy. No, everyone else is ready. The world is ready. This is ready. This is ready. Uh, me? Uh, forget about me. Don't count on me. <laughs> I'll run around. I'll do. I'll scream. I'll, I'll make. I'll do. This, I'll, I'll do. I'll get everyone else. Me? Me not. When you, the guy who's saying me not, okay. The regular you love them. The regular says the malacha is done. Now it's only the you love them that. Uh, How does this stem with uh, with? Um... Nayach, they saying that the uh, chesed and nefesh. If you have something that the uh, thing, it's a prat, and uh, you have to. I'm saying you have to work on it. He's not saying not to work on it. That's what he's telling you. You have to see it as a prat of the reality. Don't get hung up on it. You get. You make a whole chesed of listen. I'm not holding there. I'm not this. I'm right, not but that. you're saying this is. The, you're saying this Everything is the recipe. Knows. You're saying this. This is the recipe for 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 Mashiach. If if the Rebbe is saying that. 
No, no, no. This is a plot. The Mashiach. That's what I'm saying. It's not about you. Nobody cares about you. Ah. Nobody cares about you. What's going to be with you? Not because you're head and heart. Right. It's right, not true. Right. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm saying conceptually. I'm trying to flip. Right. Conceptually. Of course it's true. We do care about you. We care about... And the, the whole reason for all the way back to Tim's of Arishan is only because God cares about you. Mm-hmm. Specifically you. He had you in mind. He wasn't. He also had a lot of other people in mind. But not... He had you specifically and exclusively in mind. It wasn't... He's able to manage that. Right. So you're saying, you're you're saying we're saying we're nothing, but the Rebbe is saying that, yeah, that you're right, you're nothing, but I still but I still need you to do the thing. No, take that nothingness and, 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 and harness it to the last preparing for the Gula. Take that and, 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 and don't fight it and don't use it as an excuse and don't use it as a, don't beat yourself up over it. Shuva, don't worry, because oh, I'm so bad and uh, yeah, you have to fix something, fix it, but fix it in the context. Yeah, of it. And the context of that, it's done. It's done. It's not, I don't need to go through all those steps and stages. That was done wow. for me. They went out that ever wrote in Tanya, the first 34 Praka. How you, of course, you have to do all those things, but did I ever say you have to do all those things? It has a different context. It's not maybe one day I'll be really great. I'll be on the level that I could relate to the uh, Rebbe and relate to. The Abish's desires. No, the Abish says, but put the Abish's desires first, and he needs you to be ready. And in that context, of being ready, do it all. But he wants you to show up. It's the, the only reason. If if you learn Chassidus, you understand what Chassidus is about. The whole idea of why we needed these seven generations it was, it was right. not because it was not because your tefillin was better than the other Jews' tefillin. It was not because you. We needed it for the inner shift. We didn't need it for the to to, to have a different pair of tefillin and a different kind of gartel and a different kind of langerakel and a different kind. It wasn't what it was needed for. What was needed for what the ultimate is not for. All that what was needed for was the internal change, the internal shift. That's all Chassidus was ever needed for, not to convince a bunch of people to become outreach workers. It was to make that inner change. That that, that that's what it was for. That it should be that the gilly alakus, that should be laws of love. You should come in a panemius. That's the whole story. Anything you ever learned was, and you're going to show up with a with with with, with, a, with, with without a head, without a heart. So you're going to be you say, well, listen, let me cut them about gedolim, right? The Rebbe says in the Maimer, at his taka cut them, but blind not cut them, but kulam yedu I see. You know, so okay, yeah, taka cut them, blind not cut them. Really? Who said that? That's who said that's what, how Mashiach wants to go to the Gula with you as a... No, he wants that you're you're just as much on board with the Kula Miedo, I see, as you are just with the general Koch in Mashiach. I asked a guy, a very serious guy, a big, big, big medactic in Aloha, a very big... Uh, he's in Minhagen and Aloha, this and that. And I said, if, I, if, if, if God came to you now and said, listen, I want you to already have now all the stuff that the, the rest of the Yidden are going to have in Yemais HaMashiach. I want you to already have now in advance. You're going to have your 28,000 servants and you're going to have the Madanim Kitsuyim Mitsuyim Kaf. You're going to have it all. The world, the rest of the world didn't catch up. You're going to have it all. I said, would you say, yeah, great. I'm ready for that. And you'll be, your whole Isaac will be Ladas Hashem we're starting with you. You're going to be the first guy. His instinctively, he didn't even think about it. Instinctively, he was. I've become, I've become a complete chaz. I've become completely fucked up. I've had all that money and all that, uh, and all those services. That was his. That was his default reaction. He, he, without thinking, without hesitating, his reaction was that without a, a, a divine lobotomy, without God doing brain surgery on me, I am not. Ready for what he has to offer, unless they're going to do some kind of magical. So, so you're going to talk to me about Panemius when you believe that you believe that you're so far corrupt, that you're so not shy to a gilia lekusa be made some that unless God overrides your bechira, you know, if you are left with the choice, you got everything that the made some has to offer, but you still lived in a world where you could pursue your. Uh, you're convinced you would pursue your lowly desire. So get ready. That's the only thing the message is. Get ready. That's what get ready means. Get ready means. Are you ready? Do you feel ready? 
You feel ready for that? Or you say, no, only if you, only if it's Ruach HaTonah Avinar. There's places where the Rebbe says very strongly that the later places, there's, there's, there's slightly conflicting messages that need to be uh, resolved. But there's definitely places where the Rebbe says um, that uh, Ruach HaTonah Avinar won't happen in the first group. Is it? First group of the first group, yeah. uh, if it, it doesn't mean the first group of the first group, but the whole first group, uh, we're gonna, gonna get into a conversation. Or did the Rebbe say that we could abbreviate the whole process and skip through all the Kufa, so it's not gonna be really an issue? But the I'm I'm in mean, arts, it's definitely places where they've talked about it. It's not like it mentions that, you know, you're really gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to struggle with the HR and uh, so but it, it, Ready means that am I a perfect specimen of <laughs> of of you know of chassidus? Uh, uh, you know. No, I'm, I'm the furthest thing from it. I'm not presenting myself as that. But do I have an appetite for gilelikus? Do I have a a kach in gilelikus? Do I have? Do I it, it, when I'm alone and nobody's watching? Do I really um, try to put my mind into and heart into you know? Whether it's in learning or happening, some part of my day is there. Some part of my day that's devoted to changing how I relate to, to God and godliness. Uh, I, yeah, that's a question. That's something that should be the conversation. I'm just saying that should be the conversation. I think people are very sincere. I think people are very well meaning. I think people are very one. Uh, but and they, but but they, you know. And if somebody comes along and offers them, you know, spirituality at the I.O. and the amazing spiritual experiences at the I.O. and and and, uh, and people and, want feel good things and easy way out. I, but I don't think they, again. I don't think people are insincere. I don't think people are. I think people are very sincere. I think people are very right. Um, but, people, but, there, but but there is but but there is something right. Make it, real it's, sacrifices. People make real the tough decisions in life. People, are, uh, you know. Um, I think people either, it's mostly people give up on themselves beyond anything, either getting some kind of spoon-fed spirituality from the internet or from some guru rabbi or from some, um, people have a hard time buying into a vision of themselves. So the Rebbe is telling, that's basically I, what I, the message I got is, yes, I've sold you on the vision of what, we could do out in the world. And even that, I had a much more extreme vision than you guys, uh, Stan Batlon, you, you didn't do a fraction of what I thought you could do out in the world. And the Rebbe made that clear also in other ways. It was too nice to say it, uh, spell it out in those words. But the Rebbe made it clear that he thought you got the, that the Shlochem and the whole system could have accomplished 50 times more and uh, they weren't busy with stupid machlokes and stupid territorial disputes and stupid yeah, all kinds yeah. of other stupidities. But uh, but at the same time, there's a, I still haven't convinced you that you are the guys, that you are the generation. You know what the toughest question you have when you talk to when I, I you know you talk to young people who are struggling with the question: How long is a generation? What does it mean to be a generation? Is it a generation? Yeah. What what are they really asking? They're asking a math question? No, they're not asking a math question. What they're really asking is, I don't see myself as that person. That's what they're telling. I don't see myself as that person. That yes, everything was leading up to me being the one to 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 have the gula. I don't see myself as that person. So I said, I didn't. I sold you on every part of the vision. You bought it that I did that I'm going to magically come and change the world. But you never put into the vision that you're the guy who it's for. You just never did. Were you, were you less shocked about Gimel Thomas than other people? Uh, you, you, you thank your father. Is he still listening in? You thank your father <laughs> for being the one to call me on the Sunday morning to let me know. <laughs> that was uh, that was a real treat. Um, uh, listen. I, I was shocked. I'm not going to pretend that I was shocked. But I also have a number of witnesses that, again, I had to be careful who I said it to. But uh, when a certain person was, there was a certain well-known person that was saying that uh, that if a Gimel Thomas happens, then the Rebbe is an Avishaka. Um, and I was, 
told people, and again, I didn't have big audiences. I didn't speak in public. I spoke to people who in Barbach ever would come to the and, and I said to people, I said, this guy is, uh, okay, in the end, he got out of it with Taisi, but but um, I said, this is completely reckless, completely, you know, I said, I the Rebbe said I gave it up to you. I don't want to find out what happens if we insist that it's not up to us. And that, I said, I, I wouldn't make, you know, I wouldn't make those predictions. As I said, I sat by for brains with guys talking about throwing the Rebbe's bed out the window from <laughs> about this philosophy. <laughs> This was such a, such a cop. I'm not, you know, these guys, that was, you know, literally how people, some people, you know, saw the situation. You know, there were people on the other side who thought, oh, you need to get a better doctor. You need to force the devil to do uh, even things the devil doesn't agree to. Okay, whatever. Each guy, according to his <laughs> according to his version of Grabkite, I think in, in a way I found throwing the devil's bed out the window more idle. More than, uh, oh, <laughs> than that you, have to, you have to overrule the Reb uh, on his uh, healthcare decision. Right, that's just me. Maybe I, <laughs> maybe wow. I, I wasn't macabre from the people who are macabre from the people who are macabre from from the the great Chassidim. Okay. Yes, I don't so know. How, <laughs> so the per, the person that 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 made that comment of if if Gimel Thomas happens, then the Reb is a Navi Sheker. How what what? I guess why do you think that it's not? Why do you think that that the Reb? Why, why do you think that even even with Gimel Tamas, there? I never, I never, the, I never understood the sikh of Shaytim Nun Halaf that way. I never understood the 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 the, the, the Nabur that way. Um, that same person, that same person ran around saying uh, it took him. It took him from when the sikh came out till after. Uh, Mendel Vechter came and made a chasn in New York at the end of. Uh, Towards the end of Nungimel, <laughs> no, no, towards I'm sorry, the, after Tishri Nungimel, when he got permission from the Rebbe to come into the, to America for the first time after his life was in danger. So Mandevachta sat with this person and uh, really, really that Tishri, really that was hacking him, hacking him, the, the sikh of, uh, of Shaftim and all of them and this and that. So finally, he, at that point, he said, okay, this is a fetish in the war. But it, 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 till then, he was. Not being good is the whole thing, and then he went back and forth. I, I don't. It's history, but uh, I, I never bought it. I know. <laughs> I so just, how do you I understand Laalter Lagula? What's Pshat Laalter? What was Pshat Laalter Lagula? Why the Friday can never was Pshat Laalter? Laalter is Gula. This is all Gula. It's it's uh it's not Gula. You, it's Gula. The Rebbe said. I the Rebbe the Rebbe said we already have this guy. So Melcham Mashiach. He's just, uh, he's just, he's just waiting for you guys. You know, did, did we always have this guy from well, Mashiach? Well, you guys are napping. I might as well take a nap too. That's all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the problem? And, uh, the, so that was the part. The rule was that now Mashiach is coming with Galos, and now it's he's ready. Here. And the Pasha smart enough for you guys to get your act together. He's here. Not a few guys. What? What do you mean a few guys? Did, did, did you buy in? Did, did my people? Yeah, I'm just saying, did Mashiach's people, the people who screamed the loudest that I'm Mashiach, did they buy into my vision or not? They, they're the ones I did. I don't is there, need, is the there anybody I, in the world, I, is there anybody in the world that you would say did buy into it? Again, everybody everybody does to an extent. But what happens is we, we're programmed to, to, to when we, that when we encounter our own, and that's why it's so important about the Sikh of Nerech Tavshin and Beis. We're programmed from our education, that when we encounter our weaknesses and flaws, we say, ah, forget it. Yeah, no, that, no that's not happening. Uh, let me go get the other guy, but this guy, I'm looking at me right now, this guy, no, this guy ain't happening. Yeah, I mean, I'll, be more, I'll be a little more religious, I'll take on another little thing like this. And that, yeah, but this guy, you know, nothing serious is going to be happening here with this guy, because I know him, and I know him too well, and, uh, you know, just forget about it. That, that, that narrative, that's what it ever came in my mind. In the last time, no, 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 no. You don't get to say, "Oh, I'm the bad guy," and therefore forget about me and just do it. No, yeah. Oh, you have something to fix. Fix it. It's fine. We're not saying you know, but it's you know, you need to be coming along for the ride too. And it's not because, oh, uh, you know. Uh, so I, I didn't just tell you that that you know, Chuva is not holding up the gula. Chuva not holding up the gula. Chuva is not the problem. The problem is, I need 
I need my people. I, I need my people. I need my. And you know, they, they, they never said in the air in the base. They never said, you know, the Rebbe is going to come in and he's going to look and see where are you holding in all the in all the Yanni Avaida. Besides the fact that the Rebbe totally flipped it in Yisrael, and the Rebbe came along and he said that what he said in the first year that everybody should. Um, no, everybody should find uh, uh, ten Jews and convince uh, to be. Oh, to make them the they, they should bring that. Uh, to, 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 yeah. And then in, in here, the Rebbe said you should find ten Jews and be mashpia them and call in yane teru mitzvus. The Rebbe didn't say one thing in Masha, one thing in Dibur, one thing in Maisa. The Rebbe said call in yane teru mitzvus. The Rebbe was talking a whole different language than he was talking at the beginning. The Rebbe was telling us. We have a whole different, and I'm saying I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about Shluchim. I'm talking about every private thing, right? So how many people walked out of that? Too? We said, "Oh, look at that!" And I'm like, so in Tavshin, your Rebbe held people's feet to the fire. Came to Fabreng, and they came to this. The Rebbe said, "No, where's your, where's your ten people? Where's your, no. okay?" Yeah, the Rebbe was. I'm not holding anybody's feet to the fire. You know what? You do it. Call me when, uh, call me when you're done. So that's it. <laughs> call me when you're done. We don't. This, the storyline of I'm irredeemable, but I, I, but I'm I'm on board for redeeming the rest of the world. That is a, that's a fake. That's a fake. Right. That everyone ever wants or, you to be or, on, or, or, or the, on the or, ship. Or the, other, or, or the other version of it. I'm okay considering, you know, what a lowly generation we are, and. I'm okay, so whatever I am, you know, like the other says. If whatever it is is making you say that you don't have to work on it, that's not the answer. Like, like the other says, he's a dead of Yadusa because he knows that he puts on twill and he wears scissors and he eats kasha, so he knows that uh, he's fine. He's saying, yeah, I, I, I'm fine, but I don't think the Rebbe expects more from me. He knows who I am and he knows that. But that's the other way of, of going about it. But uh, whatever it is, these, these storylines, these storylines, there's more and more schools opening up in Lubavitch where they want to lower the standards. Really? That's the message you got from from from, from the Nalaf Nubes that we need more schools with lower standards, with less expectations, with more with less Titus Akadish, with their it's it's, it's ridiculous. It's not she's saying, well, of course they're bad people. No, <laughs> they're not bad people. They are a more exaggerated version of the same story that the guys with the with, with with the beards and the and all the frumish to tell themselves. Listen, I know who I am. I'm not, you know, I'm no great shakes. Obviously, I would love to have it. I'd love to see come, and I love this. And I'm willing to, okay, he, the other guy's willing to run around and do something about it. I'm willing to write a check. This is really what the Rebbe says in, in, in Haisada, that Lohavi took call, and this that the vet and them, he'll wait around the vet and them until now. No, Lohavi. Go, go, go! It, it, it's on you. You have to go do oh, it. That's it. But it, it, listen, it's 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 all of these things, and and the same thing with all of the distractions. Now, now, uh, I'm meeting uh, the the new crisis is that Bachram are looking for uh, Bachram are looking for guidance in life from Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro. Really? Okay, that's the that's the new problem. Okay, listen, Bar Hashem, it's you were not talking about the Bachram, you know the. Other things that there are on the internet that uh, you can get fakrachan in. That we're not talking about. Fine. But the, really, that's a, a bacha. In other words, you, you got an education in the Rebbe's Torah. You got an education. You sold him on the Rebbe's vision of the world to the point that he thought, you know what's a great idea? Let me go to Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro. Obviously, it's not, you know, uh, uh, you know it's, uh, he, he, he doesn't get it. <laughs> he doesn't see it. Is that if we have, if we if we have more and more therapists hanging out shingles in in, in Granites and more and more people inventing their own Hasidic therapies and their own da, 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 because that's it people are walking around feeling to brachim they're feeling to hug, they're feeling to this and they don't feel they are not feeling that we're being presented with a redemptive vision that I that I could walk forward, I can walk towards, I can walk I don't feel like there's something that I can excitedly march towards it's you, you, you'll you see guys that look like they. you'll see guys you know from from, from the from the Bahavich families on Simchus Teira that look like they put on a yarmulke just for Simchus Teira singing, you know uh, marching to the Gula with the Rebbe Shlita with tears running down their face and the that, that part, everybody got everybody got 
that that part, marching through the gula with the rabbi uh, you know, I'm going to be the guy. I put out, you know, and they be, and he means it, and he's jumping over, and he's crying, and it's this, and it, 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 for real. It's not. He's not faking it. I put on a show for anybody. He's drunk off his mind anyway. So if it's not real, <laughs> he's a really good faker. But no, it's very real. It's very real. It's in his kishkas. Marching to the gula with the rabbi Shlita is in his kishkas. But it, it's not. But it's not something that has to do with with real life. It's not something that has to do with real life. It has to do with it's that it's the it's the nukuda of the nukuda mamun of the yidden of Mitzrayim. That's not what the gula shleim is. The gula shleim is supposed to be not like the gula of Mitzrayim. In some ways, it's similar. In some ways, it's supposed to be we're going there because that's where we're holding. That's where we're ready. That's what we're ready for. That's what we're holding. Not oy vey. What am I going to do with all these? What am I going to do with all these slaves and all this money? I'm going to become uh, even worse than I am already uh, <laughs> now. That's if that's if that's how you look at the world. If that's how you look at reality, then you're not you're not really looking forward to the gula. You you sort of on some level feel that something, whether it's guilt or whether it's just you know uh, the market of it that you're very caught up in the market of it. That the idea that this is what I need to do, even if I'm not on board. The devil says, you know what? I need you on board. That's it. I, I need you on board. I need you to buy into that. I need you to be going out. I, I need you to go out to, 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 to kill the Slavana because you're going out to accept Mashiach. You're going out to picture us as David Malcolm because like, wow, yeah. Oh, this is my mom learning. Wow, I, you know, what, it would be, what will it be like when Mashiach comes and I can actually see it? How awesome would that be? How exciting would that be that I'd actually see? I could, I could learn this the derech ear. This would be like amazing. We don't, we don't talk to ourselves that way. We don't talk to each other that way. We don't talk. We don't talk about it as what's the reality of it. Can you even picture the reality? Of it? Can you? Do you have any kind of picture you could offer somebody who sincerely wants to know? Most people will not ask. That's reality. People are too cool to ask stuff like, uh, "What's it going to be like?" The, everyone's way too cool. Everyone's way too smart. Fine. Um, so what? So, but, but you see, they're getting excited about George Peterson's vision of the of the world. They're getting excited about Ben Shapiro's vision of the world. How did you not getting them excited about uh, the Rebbe Melchior vision of the world? You know, even if they're. And by the way, one of the Mashpiim I heard talking about, he didn't mention the names, but it was a Mashpiim. Okay. One of these. One can of we, these can we finish? Can we finish off with this with the story? I'm sorry. I, we have to finish. So let's finish off with this story, and then and then we'll. Uh... I'm just saying. We'll call it a night. This is that that, that that ever believes in us, that ever loves us. All that stuff that they talk about at the Fabrengans, that's all true. It's not just that's just just feel good stuff at the Fabrengan. But you have to but you have to make it true in your everyday life. You have to make it true that the devil yes, he he believes in us way, way, way beyond anything we're willing to believe in ourselves. And therefore, the eighth is not to wait until I believe in myself. The eighth is put one foot in front of the other. Start doing it. Start doing the things that the Rebbe describes. Start doing the things. Yes, take out that safe of the Mithra Rebbe's Chassidus. Take out that. Just do it. If you just do it, you will be shocked to discover, literally, your life changing. And by the way, that's the line you've used with any other person you ever reached out to, any kid in release time. Yep. The guy in Shlichus, he said the exact same words to him, and he won't say them. To, we, don't, we don't like saying them to ourselves. Just do it. Do it. You'll see. Wow. But you'll see. Okay. It, 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 won't be, it won't be sound and light show. It'll be, you're going to wake up one morning, and you can look back, and yeah, you can say, you know what? I think I want to own a pair of throw. I don't want to have to keep coming. You think I want to? That's it. What happened? What changed? Where was the big, what was the big reveal? What was the big uh, climactic scene? Nothing happened. It happens. It happens from just doing it. Out. And yeah, you got to do it. But, but you have to be doing it as part of the program, not doing it for your own thing. Because, like uh, like Kabbalah's you know, Prima Shiach Yes, if you're doing it as part of the program, you, you, know, you will wow. be blown away by, you, you, you literally be able to look back at yourself and earlier versions of yourself and you'll be able to say, I cannot believe I used to be that guy. Wow. You will literally be able to look back and say, I cannot believe I used to be that guy. And 
you also say, I can't believe that I still get hung up on the same stupid things that I used to get hung up on <laughs> because the Yetzirah, was, the, the Yetzirah still sells me the same old stupid stuff. And I'll still fall for it. If I'm not alert, I will still fall for the same stupid, 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 stupid. Stupider than stupid. It, it will literally... It will literally convince you to do things that make you sick, that make you nauseous, you don't even like, and I'm interested in you're not. You're gonna, yeah. you know, you're gonna feel bad afterwards. You don't feel that great during. You're just, and and yeah, you say, oh, but I can't, I can't, I can't. Because it, it, because you, yeah, the the whole, the real job is the real, real job is when the devil gives it over to you in your hands. Is the real job is I can't. That shift that you have to do in your head. You can't. Can. Can. Yeah, that yeah. takes care of everything. All right. I can. Not because I'm special. I can. Not because, because yeah. I am, and I have to learn those. Uh, my mother explain. You got to do special. it. You got to do it because I because am, you're chazal the rabbi, and this is and that's it. That's right. Because I have because I was given the kachas, and I was given the abilities, and those kachas come from the rabbi. They come from the tzaddik. They come from uh, my etzim and the They come from wherever you want them from. They're coming. But They're coming. Then All nothing right. happens unless, unless you get up and say, I can, and I do. You yeah. do. Got to do it. Once, thank, thank you. you so thank much, you, Rabbi. Rabbi. Okay, Rabbi. Okay, uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. And, um, okay. yeah, <laughs> we, we want Mashiach now. Mashiach should come right now. And, uh, yeah. Okay, thank, you. thank you for me, Ad Mamish, and we'll figure out the rest afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. I got it.